Yeah, you can lie about it. Total gang! But it's not gonna change a thing. Hit that like as you come in! the curtain where the light comes in Baby, we walked this road so many times before But you always stop at my door Yeah, maybe we'll fight about it But I won't be down about it All I know is I've been around You've seen it before Baby, I know this show I know my part Turtle Gaddy, good to see my beautiful people today. What's up, DJ? Robin. I'm the video up. 426. Hit the All light, I baby. How it goes when a heart like yours beats a heart like mine. We could turn all the words to rust, but a love like ours will break with time. It will break with time. What's up, Diana? All I know is I've been around. One twenty one, come up, get up. I know my part, but down to the core. I don't want to waste my time now. Cause this is where I come in. I can tell the end. You ain't got no music. Where it begins. All I know is I've been around. I've seen it. To get started, visit. Hold on, we got Walls some stuff going on everywhere. Enter your room measurements, and that's it. Not to mention free shipping and a 100% money back guarantee. Okay, hold on, I got some technical problems. We're certain you'll love yours too. The options are limitless. I had an ad going. Okay, I take it y'all didn't have. We got music. Y'all had the music. Okay. All right, well, technical difficulties. For justice and the death of a young woman. Okay, hold on. I'm going to play that in a minute. I don't want that to play. Do y'all have sound out there? Can everybody hear? Because I'm about to play a video, and I want you guys to be able to hear it. Could y'all hear the music? No? Yes? Maybe? Okay, I can hear you, love. Yes, y'all could hear the music. Okay, so when I play the video, to make sure y'all can hear audio. What is up, crew? It is good to see everybody. If you're just tuning in, of course, hit the like button. Sorry about the all the craziness going on, the technical difficulties. Today, I'm talking about a case that hits really close to home, okay? I mean, when I say really close, I mean really close. I'm going to talk about the murder of one of my really good friends. If y'all have been tuning in to me, for a little while, y'all may have heard me talk about this before, okay? But one of my friends last year was brutally murdered, okay? And the trial for the murderer starts the 27th, okay? So I'm going to talk a little bit about that with you guys today, okay? So this story is a really personal one to me. And like I said, the trial starts the 27th. I had some of my friends hit me up today and say, Jimmy, are you going to be there? Okay. And one of them is the key witness to this. And, you know, I didn't even know it was coming up. And it is kind of, it's in this time frame, the where I really had some other things going on, but I got to put the other things off. Okay. Because like I said, this is like, really close this is really really close story to me 
And I'm going to share it with you guys, okay? And this is like, this, this one is heartbreaking. It's really, really, really heartbreaking for me because this is my friend, okay? So I'll just play the story, let y'all hear it, and then I'll go through what actually happened in this murder, okay? Because it's like a, it's like, it is the craziest story. It, it never made no national news or nothing like that. But let me tell you, the story itself is crazy enough to make national news. Hey, right, let me share this screen with you guys and blow this up. Experts tell us there has been an increase in domestic violence cases in Hampton Roads during this pandemic. Thank you for staying up with us tonight. I'm David Allen. And I'm Nicole Livis. Just last week, Chesapeake police arrested Mark O'Leary in charge Scumbag of the ex right there. Sammy Joe Burkhart. <clears throat> Burkhart's family tells Allison Basil their relationship was dangerous. They say her death was preventable and they are fighting for more answers. Very vivacious, fun loving. Family members say Sammy Joe Burkhart's smile could light up a room. Huge heart. Now they have only pictures to look back on. On February 3rd, Chesapeake police say the 37 year old was shot and killed. Okay, look, I want y'all to know, y'all just seen that picture of her and the dog. I want you to know this. She loved that dog so much, that little dog in that picture, that it cost her her life. Okay. They might not tell you that in the news, but that little dog right there, she loved that little dog so much, it cost this girl her life. Killed. After a two-day search, they arrested 40-year-old Mark O'Leary, charging him with first-degree murder and abduction. It didn't have to happen. Burkhart's family say she started dating O'Leary last year. The suspect's aunt, Bree Hawk, says the relationship was dangerous and Burkhart recently ended it. She tried to get away from him. She did go back um, again. She sees the best in people. Burkhart's family claims O'Leary has a history of domestic violence. Virginia's online case search shows he was convicted of assault and battery of a family member, abduction and strangulation in Norfolk in 2017. More recently, Norfolk police say a week before Burkhart's murder, they charged O'Leary with abduction and domestic violence. And he was out of jail. Court documents show a different woman filed an emergency protective order against him. We asked Norfolk police whether they were actively looking for O'Leary then. They didn't answer us. Now Burkhart's family wants to protect domestic violence victims. I have sent emails and and whatever I can to the attorney general. Burkhart's cousin, Melissa Lawrence, wants to work on new legislation. Maybe longer sentences. The family won't stop fighting to keep Burkhart's memory alive. That tells you she was a fighter. O'Leary was arraigned this week. He will appear back in court for a preliminary hearing on April 28th. In Norfolk, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. There are important legal steps victims can take to build protection. Okay, let me shrink that. Now, let me tell you, you know, the news just told you he was arrested for murder, but they didn't tell you closely what this man did. Okay, not even close to what this man did. Okay, this is how this goes down. Sammy lives with a good friend of mine. Okay, she was dating him, but they're kind of like best friends, but they kind of split up. And she started, you know, she kind of started dating, kind of just dating around. So she started dating this guy, the guy that's been arrested for murder. Okay. So apparently this is where it gets crazy. He beat Sammy Joe up real bad. Rapes her. Okay. The big R word. Has her locked in this house. She breaks free, gets away, okay? She gets away. She goes and takes charges on him, all right? He gets arrested. He gets bonded out of jail, okay? At this point, Sammy Joe is so scared that some of my other friends hide her, okay? Now, my people got her hit out, all right? So she's not where she's at, at her ex-boyfriend's house where she lived, right? Which is my buddy. 
Now she's hid with these chicks, okay? And this dude is like actively searching for her. And Sammy was telling everybody he's crazy, he's crazy. And, you know, she had told everybody what he did. You know, hey, he beat her real bad and that he was doing, you know, horrible things to her. Took the charges out on him. For some reason, this man gets out. Now, you heard all the things he's been charged with for domestic violence, strangulation, abduction, things of this nature, okay? And they let this man out of jail, okay? So the little dog you see is named NASA, okay? Her and my buddy Danny got this dog together. It's like their kid. You know what I'm saying? They were a couple. They got their dog, NASA. So at this point, Sammy's hiding from this guy, okay? This guy at gunpoint goes to the ex-boyfriend's house, which is my buddy Danny's house. Knocks on the door. Danny comes to the door, opens it, and when he does, he has a gun in his face, and the man forces his way into the house, okay, at gunpoint. Holds Danny hostage. This stuff gets so crazy, right? At gunpoint, he makes Danny call Sammy and tell her that NASA, the little doggy, has got ran over by a car and she needs to get there immediately. Okay. Danny calls her, tells her this stuff. Of course, Sammy Joe loves this dog. Okay. So Tammy Joe gets her stuff together. She goes over there. When she walks into the house, she's at gunpoint. Okay. Now he has her. He has her and he has Danny both at gunpoint. Somewhere. Now, this is where I don't know where everything transpires because everybody's been quiet because of court. But, okay, you know how I tell you guys I got a Corvette, okay? Well, I bought a Corvette from this lady, right, that happens to live underneath Sammy Joe, okay? So that's, that's this is how close. So I've known Sammy Joe since I was a kid. Me and Sammy Joe has been friends for years. Me, everybody, we're all friends around here, right? Everybody knows each other. So the lady that sold me my Corvette lives directly under Danny and Sammy Joe in the apartment underneath them. I guess something transpires in the house and Sammy all of a sudden runs and jumps out of a two-story window. She dives out the window. But this is the crazy thing. As she jumps out the window, the woman that sold me my Corvette is coming home and she's getting ready to walk in the house. And when she does, Sammy Joe lands directly on top of her, jumping out the window, like crushes her. Boom. And they hit the ground. Okay. There's like an awning. First, Sammy Joe hit the awning and then she landed on top of the lady walking into her house, right? The downstairs neighbor. Crazy as that sounds, right? Sammy Joe is hurt from the fall from jumping out the window. Okay, so when she jumps out the window, the dude, Danny runs for the back door. Okay, the dude chases Sammy Joe. He don't chase Danny. This is how Danny survives. Okay, the dude runs down the steps. Sammy Joe's hurt trying to get up to run. He runs out there, shoots her five times, shoots her five times, walks off, runs around the corner. You know who picks him up? His baby's mama. His baby's mama took him to murder his girlfriend. Okay. Then she has charges. It is so crazy, right? It is one of the craziest, craziest things, right? But he just cold bloodedly murdered her right in the, in the front yard, in front of witnesses, in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's seen it. Like he, and he has trial set for the 27th. And they're saying it's set for five days. I, I know uh, the first day, I think Danny's supposed to testify. My friends that hit her are supposed to testify. And it's just like, wow. You know, it's like super cool chick, beautiful girl. 
she didn't deserve to lose her life. You know, uh, she may have hung out with some riffraffs, but no, you know, nobody deserves that. You know, and, and like I said, uh, this dude should go to prison and never get out. The system is part of the, uh, I blame the system on this one. They failed. If this dude would have not been out of jail with, you can see by his record, he shouldn't have been out of jail on any kinds of bonds or anything like that. I mean, he, he is a person that will kidnap people. He, he Limitless walls is the simple, affordable, and premium way to make any wall. And the thing Sammy Joe told me he did. Right. And this is from my friend telling me it, it is so disgusting. I mean, just brutal, brutal. This dude is a monster, right? Total monster. So hopefully they, uh, in Virginia, they done done away with the death penalty. You know, we used to have the death penalty. Now they don't give nobody the death penalty. They need to turn that back. I mean, they need to turn that back. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy world. So I guess we're going to have some coverage from this murder trial because, you know, my friends want me to be there. And uh, it starts the 27th. And yeah, and I hope they give him as long as they humanly possibly can give him in the most worst prison they can humanly find. You know? See, and that's what I mean. This girl had went to the police and told this ain't like this happened to her and she didn't go look for help. She was so scared she went to the police and then hid. And she knew. She knew how bad he was, right? I ain't never seen this girl scared of anything in my life. And I've, like I said, I've known her for like the last 25 years. Never seen her scared, always happy. But this time she was scared. And I mean, she was definitely scared. And she had every reason to be because you see what happened of this person, right? <clears throat> Especially when you see somebody that ain't scared of nothing, right? And this girl wasn't scared of nothing. And she was scared. So, I mean, I knew it was bad. I knew the guy was bad. I knew what he had been accused of in the past was bad. I just didn't know he was going to murder my friend, you know? So kind of sucks, man. People are crazy. And, and, you know, I've asked this question all the time. Is the person laying next to you, is that going to be the person that kills you? You know? And in this case, well, he wasn't laying next to her, but he was at one point, you know? And this is one of those cases, if I can't have you, nobody can have you kind of thing. She just didn't want to be with him because he was crazy. She got into some stuff she didn't know. And then when she started finding out, she was like, yo, I don't want to be no parts of this. But by that got time, that dude done had his sight set that you ain't going nowhere kind of thing. You know, and if you ain't going to be with him, he's going to make you be with him. And if you ain't, he's going to kill you. There, there are dudes that are really like that. And it, it, that's scary. Uh, that's scary, women. You know, that's scary. I, I think it, I mean, I'm sure there's crazy women out there, but it, it's less likely for a woman to do something like this to a man than it is for a man. It's way common for men to be doing this stuff to women, you know, and it's like, for what? You know what I'm saying? Now you're never going to have a woman, you know, you're going to sit in prison forever. Just senseless, just completely senseless to do what he did. He went over there with the intentions to kill her. That was it. It wasn't to go reconcile his relationship with her or try to be nice to her or baby, I'm sorry or anything. It's when I see you, I'm going to kill you. I mean, he told her that he told her many times he was going to kill her and he did. I mean, this is the type of person that you drag out into the street and you put on the firing squad. You know, she had a daughter, you know, so that kid I mean, her kid was about 15, 16 years old, but that kid still, that's a baby. That baby has to go the rest of his life without his mama because of some, some meth head looking lunatic on the street, you know? And he had a long history of doing things like this. So, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I just, I didn't even know it was coming up. I mean, I knew it, you know, I just didn't know the court dates until my friends called me just right before we started the stream. I had something totally different 
that I was going to talk about, you know, but, uh, Hey, domestic violence in this world is, is a real thing. And I, I just be careful. Women be careful when you see signs of stuff like that, get away. And if you're that scared, hide, like I get it. I get it. Like if I knew my friend was in that much danger, right. I would have told everybody to hide her better. You know, like I would have went over there. I'm glad I didn't go check on the dog though. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and whatever happened, I do believe that Sammy saved Danny's life. They were both going to die in that apartment that day. Okay. And when, when she ran and jumped out that window, she, she might hurt herself, but she saved Danny. Okay. Cause Danny would have died in there that day. Okay. He was going to kill both of them. They wasn't leaving that apartment that that just, I know that. Okay. You can see by his actions, what he did. They wasn't leaving that day. So when she seen that opportunity to run, jump out that window, she took it and just thank God he didn't shoot Danny and then run after her. He instantly ran after her and it gave Danny time to escape it. Just be careful in this world. When you get with a man that says he'll kill you, you better take that stuff serious. Take it serious because he, he did exactly what he said. He did exactly what he told her he was going to do. And, and, and this thing about this, the last two weeks of her life, she lived in complete fear and then died. Okay. Was set up and died. So, I mean, that is just like, and he used the dog to do it. I, I mean, I'm sure he does. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to Danny. Not since it happened. Okay. So. Yeah. I mean. <clears throat> I know he moved. Okay. He instantly moved. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to see him the 27th. You know, I'm actually going to hear what he says on the stand. Of what transpired in the apartment. You know. I just know the basic. The basic facts of it you know, of what transpired, but I don't know the details of everything that happened inside the apartment, what he was saying, what he was doing. I mean, I know the things he did to Sammy because Sammy spoke of those things to everybody. She was scared. Dolly is down with Thug Nation. I'm so sorry about your friend. Yeah, and look, like I said, he did it with witnesses. So he's going away forever. You know, I'm not, I'm not scared of the fact that this man might get off. What really upsets everybody more, I think, in her family. And, you know, I'm really good friends with her daddy. I worked with her daddy for years. Me and her dad worked together for years. Her cousin, I worked with him. I mean, the whole family. You know what I'm saying? Her family, some of her family, I call family. That's how close we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, like her dad, I call Uncle Kurt. Okay. That I call her dad Uncle Kurt. That's how close our families are. You know what I'm saying? I work with them. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's 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 terrible. It's one of them terrible situations. So, but I know, like I said, with him doing it with witnesses and in front of everybody, that he's gonna be convicted. But he should have never been in the position to do that to Sammy. Okay. The system failed Sammy really bad with the protective orders, multiple women having protective orders on him. And his baby's mama, you know, she said she was scared. You know, she's scared. You ain't too scared, you know. But then again, you lead the dude, he might kill you too. You know, when you're dealing with psychos, it, it's it's wow like i couldn't imagine having somebody wanting to kill me really like that like they're hunting for me and when they see me they're really going to kill me kind of thing right like even when she's telling everybody i was like are you sure you you know you ain't tripping or maybe he just you know but after she started telling him what he's already done to her you know what i'm saying and this was his girlfriend wow like drugs are bad people. I think the dude was on some really bad drugs and uh, he would start flipping out. 
and I ain't talking. I'm, I'm, I mean, flipping out, trying to hurt people and doing terrible things. And they, we, they build places with things like that. It's called prison and the electric chair, lethal injection. When you can't be a, a normal member of society and people got to walk around and, and fear you. Strap them down. I'll hit them with the needle need be. You know what I'm saying? You sign me up. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear where the executioner's mad. I'll walk in and be like, yo, the pro, you got to go. So definitely, you know, them situations. I know a lot of times when a couple get into arguments, you know, they might get to fight and, and there might be, you know, some protective orders, a couple of days, everybody works it out. And that's usually the common thing. Okay. Couples are going to fight. There's going to be some domestic situation where you got to live with somebody for 20 years. You're going to argue every now and then. Right. I get that. But when you have stuff like he had, like abduction, strangulation, thing, and that ain't normal charges. That ain't something like, yo, I got drunk at the bar and head butted the dude next to me. That's normal. You know, to some people. When you start seeing shit like that, people are arrested up. You go, man, that, that ain't normal stuff. This dude, and he's out. You know what I'm saying? You would think abduction carries 20 years. Right? 20, 20 years just on that charge. So not only has he done it, kidnapping people, he continued to abduct and kidnap people. Home invasion. We just have some monsters on the street. And if, if they continue to keep letting people like this go, right, you can continue to keep having people die. If the system had had locked this dude up, Sammy Joe would still be alive right now, you know? But they didn't take it serious. They kept giving this dude chances. When they known he was an armed person, he, he you know, he, See, you know, they were reporting and women reporting, hey, he has a gun. He has a gun. He's he's beating me with he's pistol whipping women and stuff, beating them with the gun. So, I mean. It's just insane. It's insane. Like, I don't know why. Like, I mean, I understand women like the bad boy. You know, you want a, a guy, but you need you don't need a guy that's that bad. I mean, you don't need I'm on my way to death row bad. OK, you need like kind of cool might slap somebody bad you know what i'm saying at the worst you know what i'm saying you don't need i'm gonna get a knife a gun and kill your whole family bad you don't women i don't know y'all just i don't know right i just do not know like even in the whole thing i'm thinking why are you messing with this guy you know what i'm saying because <laughs> you're my friend i'm like you need to check on your picker you know but all joking aside, the dude's a monster, and she didn't know. Okay, she just didn't know. Gave the dude a chance that he might be a right dude, and nah. I, and I mean, he. I look at him, and I, I instantly think to myself, this don't look like a right guy. You know, I didn't personally know the guy. He's from another area. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out here in this neighborhood, we all grew up together. We all know each other, right? This was an outsider. You know, so he came in. So I could have looked right at the guy and been like, yeah, that's a riffraff right there. So. But, yeah, I think, you know, one. Danny has to live with what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, but do you think about this? If somebody ran up in there. And they had a gun and they're going to kill you for real. This ain't this guy wasn't playing. He was there to kill people. And he forced the man to do it. You know, there's just no other doubt. I wish too. sometimes, you know, but hey, they're both my friends. Both of their lives are important. And I don't know. Maybe Danny didn't think she would show up. I don't know if that Danny and them had a code word or what, but she showed up. That's the bad thing. You know, maybe Danny should have called the wrong number. But he had held Danny in the house for hours. He had been there all day. Okay, because look. Join 13 News Now all March as we celebrate women. Okay, here's the thing. Sammy Joe don't do nothing fast. Okay? She don't do nothing fast. She's on her schedule. She don't do nothing fast. Even, I mean, that was fast for her because you could be like, 
Sammy can be like, yo, I'm coming over. It'd be 12 hours later. Okay. I'm on my way. She'll show up the next day. You know what I'm saying? She's kind of like on that kind of schedule. Okay. So she was there fairly quick within a few hours. So he was in the house for hours with the guy, you know, at gunpoint. And I'm sure Danny was scared to death. Danny ain't a fighter. He ain't some tough guy. He's, I, I'm sure he was terrified. Okay. I mean, terrified. I just know he was. I know he was. He's scared of them everything. You know, so I can't see him. Um, yeah, I can see him scared. Just scared to death. And it, it's, I don't know. Yeah, that's one of them things, too. I, I think, man, Danny, you had to live with that one, man. That's, you know, you dial the wrong number or whatever. But, nah, he called and she showed up and he killed her. But what would you do? You know what I'm saying? What would you do? Now, this ain't your girlfriend at this point. This is an ex-girlfriend. Okay, that is really one of your best friends, though. More than anything, Danny and Sammy, they were really good friends. Okay, they did date for a little bit, but more than anything, they were just really good friends. So that's what was shocking to me. Like, if it was just one of my ex girlfriends, you're gonna kill me. I'd be like, yo, man, I call her. Here you go. <laughs> you want to talk to her? You know what I'm saying? So, but it wasn't that. Like, Sammy was Danny's best friend. So it was like, I don't know. He would have killed Danny. If Sammy Joe didn't show up, Danny was going to die. You know, that's for sure. One of them were like, I'm surprised both of them. It's a miracle. Like I said, it is absolutely a miracle that both of them didn't die in that apartment. So as it comes out, guys, I'll fill y'all in on the rest of the story because a lot of pieces are missing for me. Like, I don't know anything that transpired in that apartment. All I know was Sammy Joe jumped out the window. That was it. So it'll be crazy to hear what happened. And I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I know before when my boy went quiet and he ain't, he ain't said nothing. I know it's bad. Okay. And I'm sure he probably beat Danny pretty bad. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I'll let y'all know what's said like daily. Cause it's supposed to be, I guess it's scheduled for five days and I'm sure they're going to give this dude life. I would think nothing less, you know, you murder somebody in front of people, you're going to prison life. No possibility of parole is what I think. What happened to the neighbor that she landed on the neighbor she landed on is okay. Okay. The lady that she landed on, she was fine. And here's the thing. He didn't shoot that lady. He ran right past her, right? Because Sammy Joe got up, hurt, trying to run, right? And I guess she hurt her ribs, according to the neighbor lady, and she was limping. And she was running, but she was running slow, and he ran out and gunned her down right in front of her. The neighbor, the next-door neighbor was looking out the window, watched it. He shot her, got on his cell phone, and this is what he says on his cell phone. Shit just went down. Pick me up. He runs around the corner. The car picks him up. Okay. So there was somebody there with him that whole time or waiting on him. So, and, and of course, that's his baby mama type thing. And wow. Can you imagine taking your baby daddy to murder his girlfriend? Can you imagine that? Yeah, that's just insane. Insane. Ladies, pick better people, man. Pick better people. Get a, like a, do a background check, okay? Like, do a background check on some of these dudes. I mean, I'm going to start doing it on women. I mean, I suggest you women do it on guys because a lot more women get killed by men than the opposite, okay? I ain't saying some of y'all women ain't crazy and don't abuse your men. Because some of y'all crazy. I done had women try to stab me, all kind of stuff. But take it serious. 
if a dude puts his hands on you like that, and I'm sorry, he ain't going to get better at it, okay? He's going to be the same person. He's just probably going to get worse. You know, just get away from that. Any signs of somebody's psychotic and might kill you in your sleep, get away from that, right? Quick. I dated this really pretty, pretty girl. She got drunk one night, okay? No lie, can't make this up. And she was drinking wine, like that cheap box wine, too. Like you get in the refrigerator. I don't know what it's called. Just like that. It's in a box in your refrigerator and it got a little, little tap on it. You know what I'm saying? She's sipping that wine. I'm just thinking this wine. I don't think wine gets you that tore up. She gets tore up from like the floor up off some, some wine, right? And I don't know. I think she thought... She was so drunk, she thought I was arguing with her, but I was asleep, and she punched me dead in the face, okay? Has anybody ever been punched in the face while you're asleep, okay? Anybody? Press one in the chat if you have. I press one, okay? So I'm dead asleep, and this woman thought I was talking shit to her and punched me in the face, okay, while I was asleep. Dead asleep. Okay, so... Domestic violence happens a couple of different ways. Now, it wasn't so bad that, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, you know, it, it did shock me into, you know, waking. I ain't never been woke up, punched in the face. And I mean, solid, too, like standing right over me. Bow right in the face. Not like a slap. I mean, punch me right in the face. Needless to say, that relationship didn't last. Limitless Walls is the simple, affordable, and premium way to make any wall uniquely unique. But I never really like hated her or nothing like that. We did go our separate ways. You know what I'm saying? And uh, matter of fact, rest in peace to her. She she passed away too. But she she passed away of natural causes. Okay. Later on, years later. But uh, yeah, that's that's a way to get woke up. Okay. Bow, ah! I mean, busting my mouth open and everything. And, and then like she was so drunk. Right off of wine, which I thought Jesus drank. I didn't even know it got you that that tore up, right? That she didn't even realize what was going on. Like the next day, she's apologizing. I'm sorry. And I'm like, I was like, I didn't even know that stuff got you that drunk. I thought it was like some 3% in the box. You know what I'm saying? It, what did they keep? A fifth of liquor in that wine? I'm like. I got to drink some Jack Daniels to get that drunk. You know what I'm saying? Why the blackout? Don't know what I punched in the face. Anybody drink that box wine? It apparently is a little more potent than I thought it was. Okay. I don't even know what it's called. It comes in a little white box. You slam it in your refrigerator. It's kind of skinny. Some of that is 12%. LOL. I don't know. Some of it will black you out. I know that. Some of it will get you punched in the face. So now when I see like a chick say she want a glass of wine, it scares me a little bit. I'm like, you want what? Why don't you just have a shot like everybody else? You know what I'm saying? You might as well be drinking Jägermeister. Um, wine will tear you up. I got some 16.9 and oh boy. Yep. Blackout. Yeah. I don't, I don't drink wine. It's like nasty tasting to me. I'd rather any day have a shot of liquor. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought it was like, I didn't know. I didn't know wine got you really drunk like that. I ain't been around too many people drink a whole lot of wine. Nobody deserves to be hit. You're worth more than that. I mean, I get it. Like, sober, the lady wouldn't have punched me in the face. Honestly, she wouldn't have. She was just tore up. She didn't even know what she was doing. You know, I, I get it. You know, and, uh, but, yeah, don't drink like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the hell? So, the next day, I'm telling her, I was like, yeah, you just punched me right in the face while I was sleeping. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, you know, I drank a little bit more than that. And, it was something she had drank earlier. So it wasn't like she had like, she already had a buzz, I guess, when she had started drinking the wine that day. And uh, yeah, she just got all tore up and punched me in the face. 
Uh, <laughs> you think Johnny Depp had it bad? Nah, some of y'all women are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all women are crazy. Not all of you. Not all of you. Like, I ain't never had no other woman do nothing to me like that. That was a once. And, and like I said, if she'd have been sober, she would have never put her hands on me or nothing. She just got all belligerently drunk one night. And uh, to me, it was funny after I realized, hey, I ain't in danger. You know what I'm saying? Because when I got hit, you know, I'm thinking I'm, in my sleep, I'm thinking I'm being attacked. You know what I'm saying? So I jump up like ready to defend myself and she's just staggering drunk. Right. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So once I, I go, okay, I figure out what's going on. I'm not mad. You know, I'm more like, girl, you need to go to bed. You're drunk. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, she's a small chick. So she didn't hit, but so hard, but still it, it's a, a, a hell of a way to be woke up out your sleep. You are too nice. No wonder you're a somniac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I mean, I never think about that when I go to sleep at night. Like, you know, that I've been punched in the face while I was asleep. That's just, you know, you chalk that up to like, that probably won't never happen again. I hope not. You know what I'm saying? There ain't a sign on me that says punch me while I sleep, you know? I hope not anyway. Like, ah, he just looks like I should punch him in the face, you know? There's some Amber Herds out there. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. That chick that punched me that night, she had never been violent to me ever before. Never. Never argued, fight, or nothing. She just got drunk. And I guess some people cannot handle their alcohol. Okay? I would never punch Dolly in the face. I know. Right? Champagne is the drunkest you've ever been. LOL. I don't drink that either. That shit tastes nasty. Wine tastes nasty. Beer tastes nasty to me. If a beer goes down smooth, something's wrong to me. And every now and then, they will go down smooth. I'm like, eh, I must be having a rough week. This beer actually tastes good. Liquor tastes nasty to me. If I drink it, it's only because you know, I drink it to get a buzz. I ain't lying. I don't know why other people drink. I drink to get a buzz. Some people be like, oh, I like this API or whatever the hell. I can't even say, I don't drink that fancy shit. Hand me something, you know? If I'm drinking, I'm just drinking to get a buzz. I ain't drinking because I think Coors is better than Bud Light, okay? I'm drinking because I got problems. IPA, okay. I, you can get the point. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink that bougie stuff. I don't need all that. You know? My buddy that just passed away, he was the bougie one. When we go out, he's super bougie. Like, he wanted to drink Patron, Top Shelf. I remember we went to the bar, we had a $600 bill. I had the worst hangover of my life. He's talking about, man, you won't have a hangover. What I had, I was broke and had the worst hangover of my life. Rest in peace, my boy Steve-O, okay? But he, he he even told me, he's like, yeah, maybe you're right about that uh <laughs> that top shelf. Hey, man, we can go medium shelf. We could have we went home with $300 in our pocket. You know what I'm saying? But no, you had to go top shelf, right, in a tequila bar. Now we broke. I've been throwing up for three days, you know? So, Everclear Punch. So, rest in peace to all them friends. Man, I must be getting old. Because it's like, when I'm talking about all my people, they're gone, you know? So you're thinking of selling your home. Well, how do you find... And that's terrible. I figured my crazy wild life, I would have checked out way before all these people. I ain't got murdered yet. I, I don't do no drugs. I don't think you got to worry about me ODing anytime soon, okay? Um, a crazy woman ain't killed me. That's what... I'm super surprised of, okay, that a woman hasn't taken me out the game yet. Other than that, I think, you know, if a woman don't get me, I could possibly live forever. Because, you know, a turtle is the oldest living land animal, and I'm pretty damn slow, okay? So slow as I am, my metabolism, I possibly could live for 300 years if a woman don't stab me in the neck. But I don't see that happening. Right, because these women are getting more and more dangerous. They're getting crazier, and there's more of them lurking in my bushes. Like I was outside earlier checking the bushes, and I seen like 
some Mike's Hard Lemonade cans. I don't know. I seen some White Claws, some Mike's Hard Lemonade. I seen a box of wine. It was Ziffendel or something. Okay. I'm not quite sure. But I seen that box of wine. And I'm like, okay, we got to get Rockwallers. We got to get Dovermans. We got to get something going. Because I didn't catch nobody in the bushes. Right. But I did see something that looked like a little doo-doo pal. And some Ziffendel wine. A little wine box. Okay. I don't know which one of y'all been out there in the bushes. Stay out the bushes, okay? I got to clean that. I got to clean up the bushes, all right? And if you're going to be in my bushes, take your white claws with you when you leave, okay? Don't be leaving white claws, Mike Hard lemonades, none of that stuff, okay? And the neck, okay? Right. They popping and drinking in the bushes. They out there twerking. You know what I'm saying? Peeking in the window occasionally. You know what I'm saying? Where's the uh, child support? Dolly, you can jump on that skateboard you got and get some speed and get away. It ain't no wheels on it. How the hell am I going to get away with a skateboard that ain't got no wheels on it? Try kicking that. See how far you go. All right. Sporking with some mayonnaise? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. Bush people. Yeah, I mean, occasionally you get them. I, I think I get more drive-bys than I get bush people. I hope. I, You know, I've seen a couple of the drive-bys, but as far as the bush people, I don't usually go outside at night. You know, so if you're hiding at night, I usually don't see you. Dolly, there's a lady with a jar of mayonnaise in your bush. She can stay her ass in the bush, too. And when you leave, take your mayonnaise with you. All right. Yeah, if anybody ever want to meet Dolly, you don't got to be in my bushes. All right. Just hit Dolly up and imagine be like, I'll meet you somewhere public where you can't stab me in the neck. Or they got them knives that have the rounded points. Just don't bring your personal long knife. And uh, yeah, that's all you got to do. I wear my sunglasses at night. I didn't see the thing had no wheels. That's right. You see any wheels on it? Where the hell are you riding that? You could ride it down a snowboarding bank, I guess. You'd probably kill yourself, but. Just knock on the door. Don't knock on my door. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Definitely don't come knock on my door, right? Nobody. Any circumstances, come knock on my door. All right. If you if I hear somebody knock on my door and you didn't contact me, that means you an intruder. <laughs> that's the you. That's everybody. Like nobody comes here ever unannounced, uninvited, ever. Okay. That's why you knock on my door. You are outsider. My homies and friends, they don't knock. They they can come right on in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll call me, be like, yo, I'm, in a, I'm pulling up. I'll be like, all right, come in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I hear a knock at the door. I'm thinking, uh-oh, something ain't right. Because there ain't never no knocks at my door. Unless it's mailman or if it's the Amazon and he's dropping off something that's kind of expensive. Sometimes he'll knock. Right, like if he's not not dropping off a high dollar package, like if I bought a, like when I bought that uh the microphones, the microphones like four hundred bucks, so he knocked on the door and that's a small package. And he was like, I just want to get it to. You. I was like, all right, but other than that, people don't be knocking on my door unannounced. Get a camera, aim it at the bushes. I got cameras. I'm just playing. I got. I don't know if people are really in my bushes. I'm just playing about that, but I do have cameras on my stuff. I got security. Expensive forty dollar mic, four hundred dollars. Yeah, that mic was four hundred dollars. That DGI mic I got over there, that's a four hundred dollar mic. So come hang out in Texas, Dolly. I was in Texas. I, I visited y'all's airport in Dallas. Okay. That's about as far as in the Texas I got was that airport. 
And I was just there for a layover. That airport's big as shit. So I flew over Texas. I mean, I got to see Texas. I mean, it looked all right. You know, it didn't look like somewhere Dolly belonged. There wasn't enough water. Anywhere I'm at, and it needs water, okay? Like Vegas was cool, but I need water. I need the ocean. I need the beach. I just, them things I just kind of need, right? That's why I like Virginia so much. I love visiting other places, but Virginia's my home. I couldn't see me living anywhere else, right? I could see me visiting a bunch of places, but as far as living, like, yeah, I like the beach. I like being in the middle of the East Coast location. I like being by lakes, oceans, rivers, that type of stuff. I don't want to be in the middle of a desert. The only thing you see is a, a half-dead tree in a casino. I mean, that's cool if you like to gamble a lot, I guess. And I finally seen the casino they built here. River Casino. They built it in the worst area you could put a casino. Okay, like, what are you trying to get me robbed? They put it in port. I don't know if any of y'all are from Virginia, but the worst area out here is P Town, Portsmouth. They put this place. They put this place like uh, yeah, they trying to get you shot. Like River Casino it ain't even on the water. Okay, they should have called that Crackhead Casino. All right, they put that thing Hood Casino. Anything Junkie Casino, River Casino ain't no water near it. Okay. It's in the damn near projects. Like, you walk out there and some money, you might die, okay? That looks like a setup. Setup casino, right there, what it should say. Like, I mean, if you ain't local, you might not know. If you a local, you're going to be like, you trying to get me killed. You win $10 in there, you're dying, okay? About seven people going to rob you on the way to the car. People going to be robbing each other to try to rob you, right? You'll see robbers out there fighting each other to see which one of them can get you. That's how bad that area is. Like, you got to wait for them to rob you because they're busy fighting over who's going to rob you. Um, yes, Las Vegas. No, for me. Now, Vegas wasn't bad. I had, I had a good time in Vegas. I wish the laws in Vegas were like that everywhere. How lenient they are just on everything. I kind of dig that. You know what I'm saying? They don't really mess with you. I mean, I guess if you started messing with all the tourists, you really run off your business. So they really just let you get out there and wild out, which is yeah, kind of cool. <laughs> You know a guy that disappeared from a local casino? That's what I'm saying. You put a casino in a bad area, and then you win some money, and you got every bad person in the neighborhood watching you win it. You know, people will start coming up missing. You ever heard of Foundation Park? Yes. Yes, I know exactly where Foundation Park is. Now it is, uh, what do they call it now? It's uh. Forest Cove. That's what it's called now. Yeah, they changed it. From, I remember when it was the brick buildings. They tore all that down. And uh, that was the real projects. That that looked like something out of a third world movie. Okay, Foundation Park. There's still pictures of Foundation Park. They were all block row. It looked like a concentration camp. Okay, honestly. Foundation Park looked like a something out of a prison movie. And uh, it's all these bricks in the block houses, but they're connected. So it's like a row and all these, you know, it's, it's low income housing is what it was used for for years. But in the, like the early days, like the neighborhood was so bad, like it was just so bad out there. They tore all that down now and they built new houses, like 250,000, 300,000 out of houses there. Uh, but in the back, it's still all there, like the old apartments and all that stuff. They've redone them, of course, but in the area is not as bad. It's still a bad area. It ain't even the best area still to this day, 
But uh, yeah, it was it was when I go back and I look at the pictures of what it used to look like when I was a kid, I'm like, wow, that's it's changed a lot. You was afraid you'd never get out of the park. I hear you. Um, my aunt lived right next to Foundation Park, like right there, like uh, where the Seven Eleven was. You know, there's a Seven Eleven. You go down the road. Foundation Park is on the right. She lived when you turned at that Seven Eleven. She lived right in that neighborhood that's at adjacent to Foundation Park. And I don't, you know, Foundation Park. They should have named it Concrete Park because that's all it was. It was this. People lived inside of bricks, That's cinder blocks, cinder block walls, lead paint. You know, it was just like, and by the end of it, it was so ran down with like crack houses and drug dealers and them finding bodies and all kinds of stuff. When they finally bulldozed it, I think that was a good thing. I was like, man, and there's still a little bit of remnants of it. I don't know why they had to leave some remnants of it. Maybe historically or something i don't know where are your businesses dolly lol relax dc um all houses were connected i left in 80 oh you left in 1980 yeah so guys i don't know you could probably look it up online to see what we were talking about but it was just an area here in Virginia that was for, you know, low income people. Like th the rent was really cheap. But what you lived in was like it made Don Wells's house look like a mansion. Right. It made Don Wells' stuff. You know how everybody talks about the, the shack on 110 Building Hill Road. Right. It made that look like a mansion. Trust me, because I've been in both. I've been in the houses in Foundation Park. OK. I've been in Don Wells's house. And let me tell you, Don Wells' house is a mansion. I mean, straight mansion compared to the living conditions of Foundation Park. So, uh, one more time, DC, this is your warning. What's DC doing? You better watch out. Gene got a quick hand. TV done clipped you. All right, let's let me catch up what's going on in the chat. Not being nice. All right, well, you need to clip them, clip them. You know what I'm saying? You know? So anyway, yeah, like I said, they got tore down. I can't remember what year they tore that down. Um... They're, they're building a lot of new stuff here. So there's a lot of new construction going on. Oh, and they uh, finally released uh, the lineup for something on the water. I thought it was kind of cool. Okay. If y'all are familiar with something on the water, it's a big event that goes down in Virginia. It used to go on down every year and then Pharrell puts it on. Right. But then a Virginia Beach cop killed his cousin and then Pharrell got mad at the state and then wasn't going to do it. But I guess they've worked it out, and he's doing it again this year. They got Little Wayne's coming. Uh, who else is up there really big? Little Uzi Vert, Wu Tang Clan, and uh, a whole bunch of other people. So it's supposed to bring like hundreds of thousands of people to Virginia Beach. The last one. I went to was the one that uh, I think it was Jay Z, Beyonce. It was a lot of people out there. I mean, it, it was like it was so many people. Far as you could see down the beach, and the beach here, I mean, the beach is long, is you know, it's miles and miles. It was people that far. You could it, you couldn't even see the end of it. So the something on the water event is going to go on this year. So I'll be at that. I was at the the first one. So, And I'm looking forward to seeing the Wu-Tang Clan. Okay, that'd be cool. Uh, little Wayne, that'd be cool to see. Okay, some little Wayne. I don't know how many of y'all ladies like Lil Wayne, but.
ever visit Summerfest? Um, the Norfolk Scope was big back in the day. The Norfolk Scope is still there. They still have concerts. Matter of fact, the WWE was just at the Norfolk Scope the other day. Norfolk Scope, Hampton Coliseum, Chrysler Hall. They still, like, the same music events are here. They're supposed to build a new one. So, for anybody, you know, familiar with the Virginia area, they're supposed to build a really big new one at where Military Circle Mall was. So, they're tearing down the mall. They're building a big apartment complex. And I guess in the middle of it, it's supposed to have some type of arena where celebrities are going to perform. I was like, that's crazy. You know, and they're going to build the mall kind of like stores. Because I guess malls ain't really in these days. People want them trendy little coffee shops. And they want these little shops. They ain't so much worried about going inside somewhere. No, they want to sit outside and drink the damn coffee. So they're getting rid of the mall and they're going to build all these little shops. And then above the shops are apartments. And then in the center of the apartment is going to be like some venue, which I was like, that, that sounds kind of cool. Like you could, it's supposed to be like an all exclusive community where you can do everything inside your community. So. You just saw Lil Wayne at Rolling Loud, L.A., incredible. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to go out there anyway, you know, because it's the beach, and I'll be out there for probably Lil Wayne at least. I don't know about the little Uzi Vert stuff. That's a little too gangster for me. You know, I can get down with a little bit of Lil Wayne, so I'll go check that out. The Clips are performing, Pharrell. It's a lot of big people, so every celebrity in the planet's going to be here. In the last one, I met Dave Grohl at the last one. And it was the last time I got to talk to Sweet Pete Whitaker, the boxer, was at the last something on the water. I looked over, and I didn't really notice it was him, right? There's this dude standing a couple feet from us. And my buddy Rob was like, yo, man, that's Dave Grohl. I looked over. I was like, you sure? He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's go talk to him. Cause he was just standing there by himself. And uh, I didn't know at that point that Dave Grohl lived in Virginia. I didn't even know from the Foo Fighters. So we walked up and talked to him. Sure enough, that was Dave Grohl. And he was just like, hey, what's up, guys? Like, he had no security with him. No, nothing. You know what I'm saying? This dude's a multi-millionaire. He's just hanging out like everybody else. I don't even think people realized it was him, you know? But my buddy Rob did. He was like, yo, that's Dave Grohl, dude. I was like, you sure? He's like, man. I love the Foo Fighters. <laughs> I would have never knew. I just thought it was a dude that looked like Dave Grohl. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love Sweet Pea. I used to watch him, uh, his kids. Yeah, when I was at something on the water, we were at, uh, what is it? What is the one on 7th Street? The real bougie bar. Is it Harpoon Larry's? No, it ain't Harpoon Larry's. It's something else. It's the one that all the rich people go to, right? And my Steve-O, matter of fact, Steve-O, rest in peace, Steve-O, that is who I went to something on the water with, okay? And Steve-O, like I said, he's one of these bougie people that like to drink at all these weird, fancy places, right? So, Sweepy Whitaker was in there. His Sweepy Whitaker, uh, the manager for... Who was the guy I was drinking with? He was some manager for some famous rapper, like old rapper though, like like Kumo D days. Like I forget who he was the manager of. Like I, Big Daddy Kane or somebody. It was like somebody like that. It was like some old rapper from, but he was his manager, and he was there. Sweepy Whitaker was there. Uh, who else was up in the bar that night? There was a bunch of famous people up in there because. It was like where the it was where the performers were partying because it was where the stage was for something on the water. So I was talking to Sweepy and stuff, and I had told him I was like, "Yeah, man, I think you got robbed." Because I remember when Sweepy got robbed for the title, and I was like, "Man, I've been watching you since that." And he was like, "Man, it's good to see you know." Because I've bumped in Sweepy over the years a bunch of different times, right? You know, tragically he lost his life. And if y'all ain't familiar with who I'm talking about, Sweepy Whitaker, the boxer he got hit by a car, you know, he had, you know, there was rumors he was bad in drugs and alcohol and things like that, but he walked out in the traffic and he got hit by a car and he lost his life. But that was the last time I got to see him, you know, was that something on the water. 
I mean, of course, I've seen him on TV after that, but I, that was the last time I've seen him in person. Like, you know, there's Sweepy Whitaker. What's up, man? No mention in other creators. Thanks. Tracy Wims. Hello. So, me today, I got a bunch of stuff I got to finish printing. I was doing shirts last night. I didn't have the logo. So, now I've had the logo sent over to me. So, today, I got to print up the rest of these shirts that I'm going to be doing, um, which is going to tie my whole day up, okay? It's nice out today, too. I probably should get out the house is what I should do. I probably should end this. Go somewhere and sip me a nice margarita, all right, on a rooftop bar somewhere, all right? I know a nice one right down the street. What's up, Mab? You know, it's always been a weird thing to me, rooftop bars. Seems like the concept don't even sound right, okay? Because what if you get tore up and fall off the roof, all right, of a 15-story building? It ain't, it ain't going to end good. But the drinks are so expensive in these rooftop bars, you can't get drunk unless you're a millionaire. <laughs> Last time I went to one of these, I was like, you got to be kidding me. I paid my time. I was like, what? Was like, no wonder nobody falls off the roof. All right. You got to take out a second mortgage. Um, walk to your local shop, buy me some sporks, please, Jimmy. Uh, I love rooftop bars. That's it, too bad. Now, we do got this place that'll be opening soon, and I don't go to a lot of bars. Like, I don't like people. But they got this one bar that I do like, but it's like an outside bar, and it's like a block big, so it's not like people are all up on you. You know what I'm saying? It's huge. It's a huge bar. And they got some killer tacos, right? And they got the the orange crushes. I like the orange crushes. See, in the summertime, them crushes be good. They used to have something to keep folks from falling. Yeah, I mean, the bar has a glass wall, you know? But you can, like, you could easily throw somebody over it. But, yeah, like, Rooftop bars. There's one that there's a couple of them around me because I live near downtown Norfolk, and that's the big thing in Norfolk now is let's put the bar on the roof. Do I know where Benefit Road is in Chesapeake? Yes, I know exactly where it's at. I'm in Chesapeake. Doing good. Thanks for asking. One night, Jimmy did walk us to the store with him. Yeah, there you go. You know, I did. Sometimes I'll walk to the store. I was on like a, a exercise kick, I guess, at that point. If I walked anywhere, I must have been exercising. I don't usually walk. Or I didn't have a car. Okay. If I don't have a car, I'll walk. I've been to a rotating bar. I've been to a lot of strip bars. <laughs> Does that count? Okay, does that count? I went to a lot of bars, left broke. I paid for a lot of college educations in my day. Okay. The world's a little bit smarter because of Dolly. I tell you that. So, other than that, I've just been working in the studio. I've been still looking around for a truck. Guys, y'all see a good truck anywhere on the East Coast? Good price? Let me know. All right, I've been trying to find a truck. Trucks are so expensive, and everybody is just selling like some bull crap, super expensive, right? So I've been looking and looking, and I can't find nothing that I think is a decent deal. And I don't want to go out and buy, a, have a huge truck payment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to find something that I can afford, and I don't know. I might have to save some more money. Is what I'm thinking. Because at my price point, all I'm seeing is stuff that I'm like, I don't know. I don't trust it. You know, because I'm going to be traveling. I hate to just spend all this money, buy something, get in it, get halfway across wherever I'm going and the thing break down. And then I'm putting thousands into it when I should have just spent a little more and got something 
you know, I just looking at the things in my price range and I'm thinking I need to save some more money. And I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> That's my beach. Don't go into debt. It's a big purchase. I know. I know. That's why I've been shopping and looking and looking. And it's just like, I was getting frustrated. Like, I was just looking around. I was like, man, I got to make this stuff happen. And I, it's just like, if I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I just keep hope, faith that I'll something good to run across. Usually it does. Like when I don't need a vehicle. Right? Like, when I didn't want a truck, all kind of people were trying to sell me trucks. Okay? Nice trucks. Good deals on trucks. Now, I can't find a truck that ain't got, like, a, a price tag on it and a big-ass huge dent on the side. <laughs> so some crazy, you know? Uh, it's okay, but uh, the bump, it don't come with a bumper. Like, well, I think I need a bumper, you know? I seen a really nice truck, right? A really nice. It was nice. My buddy, me and my buddy were looking at it. He's like, man, that truck nice. That's a good price for the truck. We get to the back of the truck, and the tow hitch is bent in half. I was like, I was like, I need the truck to tow stuff, right? The, the truck is already tore up from towing things, right? So I'm like, that ain't going to work. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This truck oh boy. I was just like, it's just like, I know the used car market right now is really high. Okay. It's just really high. And it seems like just a couple years ago, these trucks that they want 15,000 for, you could have got for like five grand. You see what I'm saying? There's like people wanting 15,000 for like a $5,000 truck. Right. It's like that, that shit is nowhere near worth $15,000. And they'd be like, I mean, two years ago, I got that truck all day long for 5900 You know? Now, that same truck is 15000 They would let me have my truck with no bumper. It was extra. I'm just saying. Like, when I get a vehicle, I want it to all be there, okay? And I don't want to have to fix anything. Like, I've seen some good deals on trucks. They were like, oh, well, it needs, it, it, it probably needs an alternator. Like, I don't want nothing broke down. If I can't jump in it, boom, hit that key, and that thing purr, I don't want it. I need something I'm going to be traveling in, okay? It don't have to be the prettiest truck. It has to be a good running truck. Is more the thing, you know, like I'm looking for a good running truck, something that's got 600,000 miles on it. I've seen a truck, they want a 10 grand for it, thing had 350,000 miles on it. I was thinking, you want 10, you know, drove this thing around the planet and want 10 grand for it. Like, this thing is going to blow up next week. Two thousand eighteen Dodge Ram fifteen hundred um, with a million miles. I know, but I don't know. I just need something that's going to get me from point A to point B. It ain't got to be like some luxury truck, but it ain't got to. I don't want it to be a bucket. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of standards. Like I don't want to roll up like the Sanford and Son. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, I know. I got to put some work into my vet. My vet's going to be probably worked on for the next, I don't know. I got to get to the guy, which ain't hard because he's right here, right? But he's going to start working on the vet soon. The vet needs a power steering pump and it needs uh, a water pump. Okay, so I'm going to have those two things put on it and then I'm getting rid of my vet. Um, far as trading the vet, like it ain't, it ain't, I couldn't trade it right now. It needs to be worked on, okay? There's a few things that had to be fixed on the vet to get that back up and going and legal, you know, so. 
that's going to be a little bit before I get rid of the vet. Probably by the end of the summer, I'll have the vet up and gone. Okay. I mean, I can sell the vet the way it sits, but I ain't going to get what I want for the vet the way it sits. Okay. So the things it needs, I'm going to go ahead and replace and then sell it with it not needing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because if it needs anything, you talking, oh man, uh, can you take 2000 off that? It needs an alternator. The alternator is a hundred bucks, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a Chevy. It's a hundred dollar alternator, you know, but that's how people are. So I'll throw the hundred dollar alternator on it myself and get what the value of the car is, you know? Everything is high dollar. Yeah. Send the vet to Mab. I'll fix it for cheap. Well, I got somebody that's going to work on it. So I just got to get it to him. I got to order the parts. It's sitting out there right now. Matter of fact, I got to cover it up. My, my cover blew off of it. I guess it was windy yesterday and the cover blew off. So when, uh, and I noticed my hundred dollar cover has a rip in it. All right, I paid a hundred dollars for that cover, and it got a rip. It ain't a big rip, and it's not like that important. But still, I paid a hundred dollars for that cover, and got a rip in it already. Eggs six dollars a dozen. You are right. Everything is super expensive. Um, but here's the thing: is I got to get rid of things because I need things. I need a place to park my truck. <laughs> When I do get a truck, I ain't got nowhere to park it. Okay. I got I got the, the vet, I got the van, I got the Jeep, and I got the trailer. Okay. So I'm getting rid of the van. I'm getting rid of the vet. I'm gonna drive the Jeep into the ground, right? Because it's my old beater. I just can't get rid of it. I'm going to drive it to it. Just literally fall, slam apart on in the road. Like, <laughs> and just, I right, get out. It's done. <laughs> you know, I'm literally going to drive it to it breaks. Okay. Like to it's just disintegrates and it will come. All right. Cause it's old and it's getting rusty, but I love my old Jeep. Right. It's just raggedy. It's, it looks like something just like, what the hell? I love that Jeep. Okay. I like it better than the vet. I like it better than my Chevy car. Oh, I forgot I got the Chevy too. Um, I'm getting rid of all that. I'm getting rid of all of it. Everything but the beat up Jeep. Everything but the beat up Jeep. And then I'm going to get me a truck. The Vets a 2004 C5. You missed out on a uh, cotton candy soap. Are you going to make more? Yes, I... Like, I've been so busy, guys. So, everybody that's hit up buydollysoap.com and got my merch, t shirts, hoodies, my soaps, lotions, body washes. Thank you, guys. I got the best in the game, though, right? You hear everybody come in like, the soap is the best, right? It's true. It is simply greatest. Can't beat it. But, everybody that's been buying from buydollysoap.com, the official sponsor of Dolly, because it's Dolly, okay? Got to sponsor yourself. Go order you some. Get you some today. Make great gifts, right? That way you smell good. Your skin is soft. You don't want dry skin, okay? You love the OCJ6? Yeah, like mine is a YJ, and it's, it's a Jeep Jeep. You know, I know some people got Jeeps, and they ain't real Jeeps. My, mine's a real Jeep, okay? Like like. The whole thing, here's one thing about the Jeep community for anybody in here who's a Jeep person. The one thing I don't like is you got to wave at everybody that got some Jeep. Everybody want to wave. It's like an international thing. You got to wave at every Jeep that drives by, right? I hate that. I hate that. I ain't even that social. Okay, I can't stand it. So when I got the vet, I remember saying to myself, I was thinking, at least I ain't got to wave at everybody like I do in the Jeep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Corvette community, they're the same way. You got to wave at all of them. I didn't even realize how many Corvettes were on the road. Until you drive one, you got to wave at everybody. I was like, I feel like I'm in the damn Jeep. You know what I'm saying? Lately, I just get the, the two fingers. And, but he, look, I got the Chevy Cruze. You ain't got to wave at nobody. Right? You ain't got to wave at nobody. Get you a Chevy Cruze. You ain't got to wave at nobody. 
Nobody cares. You're just like a soccer mom riding down the road. You ain't got to wave. You break down, you're on your own, though. You're on your own. You break down in a Jeep, 72 Jeeps are going to pull over to help you. Okay, I swear. You cannot break down in a Jeep. As soon as you break down in a Jeep, they're going to be pulling up like a convoy. Okay? Deep people be like, oh, they be like, oh I got you. They'll be over there and build your Jeep. Like 30 minutes, right? Same thing with that. Uh, vet people, car through the pullover, man ass puller. You bring down the Chevy Cruise? Oh, no. You don't know. You don't know on that one. Okay. Ain't nobody open in. Nobody care. You still got a better car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody leaves. You don't have any problems. Okay. Well, you uh, big time waiver. See, I'm just trying to get away from waving at people, okay? Hey, I'm glad you got a truck, you know? It's a little silly to me. You know, it's a little silly to me, but I get it. The whole Jeep thing is I like the Jeep thing because, really, if you break down, every Jeep person in the world will help you. Like, I don't know. It's like an underlying law. You own a Jeep, you got to be a roadside mechanic, okay? I'm the wrong one. I pull over to help you. I don't know shit. I'm like, hey, I just stopped because it's the law, I guess. I don't know how to fix your stuff, but, you know, you need a ride. <laughs> I'm breaking up robot sound. Okay. When is Betty going on? I don't know. What I look like? I don't have the Betty schedule. Uh, country folk always wave. I hear you. I'm more of an a-hole. You know? I might give you the nod. You know, the international nod. That's when you're too lazy to be like, you know, that's a lot of movement right there. To, you just give them the old. <laughs> I'm notorious for that. You know, people are like, what up? I'll be like, I just give you the nod. Just the acknowledgement. I'm too lazy to do anything else. Like, yeah, I see you. I was asked and Betty fan. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't know. And then what you was doing there, Mab? I was like, am I boring you that damn bad? Where's Betty? Okay. Get get the damn coffee right then. Get get your coffee right there, Mab. I give you uh I give you my best Betty impersonation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm doing no Betty impersonations. I ain't getting hit with a coffee cup today. All right. She'll UPS it to hit me with it. Okay. So, uh, old, there's a lot of drama though on these YouTube streets. Why do everybody got to drag Dolly into their fights? Okay. Why do they got to pull me into their, to their bickers? In their argument. Why I got to be a scumbag when y'all ain't getting along. Okay. You ever notice when views go down. Right. Here's the thing in true crime. And and I have no problem with it. And But there's other creators that seem to have a problem with it. In true crime. Views are really big when somebody gets chopped up. Okay. <laughs> Let's be honest. They are. When people ain't getting chopped up. It's really just a bunch of bullshit to occupy time. Okay. Let's be honest. That's what it is. Okay, and views go down. Like my view, if you looked at my average plays, they're going down. There's no big true crime, Brian Laundry's kind of old news, right? There's nothing really big, nothing really new, nothing really fresh. That everybody's just clinging on to. But some of these YouTubers, when it gets like that, instead of just just them enjoying the slowness and be able to connect with the the smaller crowd and be able to build these relationships, they like to start this this BS drama. Okay, for views, right? You, you'll see their views. You'll be like, they ain't talking about nothing true crime. They have a thousand people in the room. You know what I'm saying? And just fighting over the stupidest stuff. Like it ain't even nothing to fight about. But we're going to fight and call each other names because it drums up views and clicks. Right? I'm cool with y'all drumming up views and clicks. I'm a YouTuber. I have no problem with however y'all get your clicks and views. What I do have a problem with is when y'all start throwing me under the bus in the mix of it, okay? I ain't got nothing to do with their little squabble, okay? Ain't got nothing to do with it. Ain't got nothing to do with Dolly. Why Dolly get thrown into something? It's always Dolly this, Dolly that. 
Ain't got nothing to do with Dolly, okay? Dolly don't even mess with y'all like that. Dolly on, on his own lane. I'm over here in the soap lane, okay? Look around, I don't see none of y'all in the soap lane, okay? <laughs> but they're like, F this person, F this person. Dolly too! What Dolly do? I'm over here, ain't messing with nobody, okay? I'm in my own little own little realm, okay? So I like. So when y'all hitting me up, ask me, man, why is this person saying this? Why is this person? I'm the hell of I know. They need a click and a view. Okay? They got ain't nothing to talk about. You ain't got nothing to talk about. YouTubers talk about each other. <laughs> you ain't notice that? I just had come up here with not nothing to talk about. I'm like, hell with it. I ain't gonna lie to the people. Hey, I ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm just talking to you. Okay? They'll make some shit up. Okay? I can't roll like that. I can't fake drama and, and like, it's like a show. It's like, and I'm just like, I ain't got time for this shit. I just don't, right? Like, but I got to keep it 100. What, you know, what, 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 what goes on on the YouTube streets is, you know, don't think like it is what it is. This is a, like, I don't, I don't need all that. You know what I'm saying? If the views go down to a hundred people, but the next time it pops off, it'll be back at 20,000 views. You know what I'm saying? So when it gets low, I'm just like, okay, it'll, you know, this is true crime. Big things happen. The stories get big. The views get big. But when it don't, like, you you don't got to create stuff, right? Like, I just wait for things to happen. And this is true crime. It never stops happening. Every People die every day. Something's going to be big, right? I don't have to, like, create a situation where these people are creating things. They're cre making things happen for show. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go somewhere, some shit's happening. It, it, that's what's happening. I'm not creating that. You know what I'm saying? You're getting what's happening. Like, I didn't go plan. I'm going to create this madness. You know? Like, I don't think that deep into it. As far as I'm thinking, is, oh, hey, you I ain't word like that. <laughs> when I see these people are like a, attacking each other i left this reason for this i did this for this not but all of it is is people feeding off each other for clicks and views and things like that i don't i don't tend to do that you know if i talk crap about you it's just because i want to joke you it ain't because i want to view or click or hit off of you or any of that i just want to laugh at you <laughs> that's my that's my reason in this world can I laugh about it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Right? So, but just know there's a lot of fakery and showmanship. <laughs> Actors. <laughs> it on the streets, right? Like, even me, okay? Sometimes I have to shake my head. I just shake my head. Like, I'm just like, I don't even know what to say about it. Right? That is, it's that insane. You know, and when I first came in, I guess it's been over a year now, a little over a year in the true crime. I had no clue that the, that it was like this, that there's some people that are real. There's some people that are super fake. There's some people that are just actors, right? Just straight actors. Like, it's just, this is an act. You know what I'm saying? And then there's like, there's some real people mix. If you mix, it's a little bit of everything mixed together so you really can't tell what the hell is going on right can you can you tell an actor from a real person can you tell fake beefs from real beefs can you tell things that have been set up or th you know what i'm saying like i had no clue that any of this was going on i came in all just bright-eyed and bushy-tailed ready to save the world What did I know? I had no clue. I never knew that the whole internet was crazy and weirdos. I had no clue whatsoever. I came into this blind as Stevie Wonder. Okay, I look at it now like, how did I make it this far? Right? Sharks, everything in the world. I, I survived. Okay? Like, it's insane. <laughs> it is absolutely insane. I don't believe shit that I hear on the internet anymore, ever, right? I, when I see it, I don't believe it. 
Just the truth. And I and I honestly, just to be one, you shouldn't either. <laughs> no, don't even believe nothing I say. Okay. Nothing you see, nothing you hear is even real. Okay. The, the people make up this and that and this and this and this person runs with it and that person runs with it. Cotton candy soap. By dog soap. It is a circus. It is literally a circus. Okay. But before I start headbutting with people, I got to have real beef with you, okay? I don't just fight with everybody. Everybody's not worthy of my shit talking for clicks and views. They're just not. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that to people to get views off of them. If I say anything about you, I generally don't like you, okay? Unless I'm joking you. Now, if I joke you, I like you, okay? If I pick on you, I kind of like you. If I just shit talk you, I don't like you. And and I don't hide who I like and who I don't like. I'll tell you, I, don't, I ain't got no shame in my game. You know, so, but I don't take people and just like, be cool with them and then just be like, shit talk them. I just, I don't do that. Either I stay out of it, I keep my distance, but I watch how everybody is because if you're quick to throw somebody under a bus okay how long before you throw me under a bus and now i watch a lot of these people out here act like they were cool with each other and sling each other right under the bus y'all ain't throwing dolly under no bus nobody is you know what i'm saying i'll dabble with these people that's it I'm not getting close enough for you to throw me under the bus to none of them. I'm a one man army. I'm a one man wrecking crew. Okay. And that's why I've kept my distance. Yeah. I went down in Georgia and dabbled with some of these people, but you notice I still keep my distance. I didn't go down there and be best friends with everybody, you know, and you, you got these two people fighting that are just trying to rile things up for views. But I'm not putting people in situations where that's me. You know what I'm saying? Or you're giving any inside information into me so you can come up here and try to tear me down, you know? So the people that are doing like stuff, I don't, I don't knock anybody for their hustle. All right? I don't knock anybody for their hustle. Just don't try to throw me under the bus in the hustle, okay? That's it. That's really all it is. I don't care about too much of it because I know a lot of you guys are like, what's she mad at you about? What? I, who, who cares? <laughs> Does it, but I don't care what she's mad about. <laughs> I get two Fs, right? I don't care. Just know that it, it is what it is. She, it, it, you got to realize what you're dealing with, you know? So if they need things right now to to drum up views, then do whatever you do, you know? But I, you know, don't throw me under the bus. I'm not getting close enough for that. I ain't getting close enough for that. Yeah, and I'm not like that. Like, I'm not one of them people that's your friend, and then I'm your enemy, and then I'm your friend. and then See, these people... They, my, I, they're my acquaintances. I know them. You know what I'm saying? We're not a team. I wasn't on their team. You know what I'm saying? And so many people thought that. Hey, I, like I'm part of their team. I'm not part of their team. We're in the same place, same time, working on the same thing. If if we have information we can share, then of course I'm going to share it with you. Now, Betty is a true crime person. Okay. You can share information with Betty. She's a true crime person. She lives, breathes, eats, sleeps. True crime. Okay? Molly ain't a true crime person. Okay? <laughs> That's the difference. Like, there ain't really much me and information me and Molly can share. You know what I'm saying? My, Molly, really, I think she's more of a, a drama channel than anything. It is not a true crime kind of thing you know what i'm saying and uh the stuff with her and mallory 
that's just like a I just laugh about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know. But somewhere in the middle of that, I got thrown into it. And uh I ain't got nothing to do with y'all ladies. Okay. I ain't been at no children's hospitals where there's sick babies. I ain't told anybody their baby is dead. Okay. That allegedly killed their baby or something. Maybe not. Maybe so. You know, I ain't doing none of those things. Right? I zig and people zag. That's how I roll. All right, if you're doing this, I'm doing this, right? Because I'm not doing the same thing y'all doing. Because as soon as y'all start doing it, I'm thinking that. No, I got to do my own thing. So, and I don't know. Just people do things for views. And I know if people are trying to throw me under the bus, it's to throw me under the bus for a couple clicks and a couple views. And I'm just here to tell you guys, uh y'all don't need that okay one y'all don't want that smoke with me i'm way funnier <laughs> not even trying but i don't even get into that anymore you know what i'm saying i kind of retired from that dragging people around the internet you know because it's too easy for me so y'all don't want to smoke with me y'all stick to fighting with each other and like why throw me in it you know what I'm saying? i ain't got nothing to do with it like i ain't even watching i ain't even watching y'all stuff right I'm getting this second hand, but I don't want to wake up the message of why this lady saying this. Way. I have no clue, guys. I have no clue why they're doing it. I mean, I mean, the only thing I can think of is, hey, you need a couple clicks and views, you know, throw a couple people under the bus, stir the pot a little bit, you know. I know how the game's played now. Last year, I'd have been like, I'd have been mad about this. This year, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I ain't even mad about it. I laugh about it. I'm like, okay, your views are down. Your views are down. All right, I get it. Like, right now, I could start a fight with, let's see, Baby Gap, okay? Baby Gap, you ugly, okay? I mean, if my views were down, I really could do that. I could just sit here right now and be like, Baby Gap, why JLR putting out pictures of you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what does that really accomplish? Do I really feel like fighting with Baby Gap right now? I got. I could take a break. You know, everything's calm right now. I can get other things done instead of have to worry about, you know. I mean, I, I realize you guys know when the stories are slow. I don't think people on the Internet are stupid. OK, y'all know when it's slowing down, when, it, when shit's popping and when shit ain't popping. You know, I think everybody sees it. If you've been around for a little around a little little bit of time, it's it's pretty obvious to what goes on, you know. All about the money, at, even at victims' expenses. I don't think it's about the money. No, it, it, and I think that's where a lot of the haters are wrong. I don't think it's about the money. It's about the clout. It's about the attention. Okay? Haters, I hate to give you anything. It's not about the money to these people. So some of them. I, can't, I ain't going to speak on everybody because each, each one of these individuals are different. Right? There's different circumstances around each one of them. You got to remember. Dolly been on the inside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The inner work is the things. Each individual, one of the people are different individuals. They, they get lumped together a lot. Everybody does, but they all individual entities themselves that kind of coexist in a weird way. But some of the people, it's just about attention. They don't need the money. They're making money. Okay. They're making money, of course. Do they need the money or do they need the attention? Right? That's where everybody's like, oh, that's right. But they just want money. They just want money. No. Some of these people just want attention. Okay. Some lady, you know, women love attention. Just want attention. Okay. They could care less about the $10,000 they just made. They could care less. You know, their husband is a damn guy. You know, just things like that. Everybody don't need the money. Some people just need the attention. Attention and money. I, I guess it works like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how things go down on the internet. You start seeing people fighting. You got to remember when something comes up that benefits everybody or help everybody, these people will be friends. And you look at it like this is, 
you knew that relationship between them two people wasn't going to work out anyway. Okay. They're totally opposite spectrums of people. Okay. That was bound to, you know, And me, I don't, I don't bring a lot of like, there was things in Georgia that I wasn't happy with, right? I made that pretty clear to everybody. I was like, there's some stuff going down here. I ain't happy about I didn't get up here and air all the stuff out. I just like, yo, I can't be in Georgia. I'm leaving. Right. There's things that were going on that I wasn't behind the scenes. I wasn't too cool with just won't, you know? And, uh, Everybody, like, I know everybody on the internet kind of clump everybody together. But that's really not the case. That's totally not the case. I don't think anybody's ever really 100 on the same page of why they're there, what they're doing, or anything. You know, I, like, I believe that my reasoning for being there was different than, like, Molly's reasoning being there. I think it was different from... Betty's reasoning for being there. I think some people showed up, just showed up because they may have wanted to click a view. I didn't feel like everybody's intent was the same. You know what I'm saying? Just truthfully. I didn't feel like everybody was really, there was maybe a couple of us on the same page together, right? For sure. And then like, there was just, I don't know. It, it got weird there at the end. And I was like, yeah, I ain't digging this. You know, I just really ain't digging this type of stuff. And, you know, you know, you heard me come back and say, man, I ain't doing this protest and shit no more. And, and like, it was just some things that went down. I wasn't too cool with, you know, but it wasn't something that I'd have came up and been like, oh, F this person or F this person, or this person's a scumbag or this person's fake or, or any of that. I just, you know, it's whatever y'all got going on, y'all got going on. It's, it's every individual is different. I think everybody has their own reasoning for why they do things. Okay. Um, I think some people's reasons are a little more pure than others, you know, and that, that's just from my experiences, you know, um, I don't think any of the people are bad people, you know, I don't, I just think everybody has their own reasoning for doing what they do. Yeah, I mean, they have a certain strategy, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And I have a certain vision. That's why it's Dolly Vision. Of, you know, like, and, and it's different. You know, are, are things that sometimes, though, like I said, the information sharing is really good. Because some of them people have really good ways of attaining information. And some of their skills could be valuable, you know, but there's a lot of stuff that comes with that too. Um, like, cause when things get slow, you get drama, you get people talking about you, but did they really hate you? Right. Do these people really think I'm a scumbag? I would say not. I think they need to shake the pot a little bit. They need to stir some things up and that's what they're doing for a couple clicks and views. I don't hate you. I ain't even mad at you. But when people ask, why is this lady mad at you or whatever, do you think she's really mad? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to know what's real and what ain't real on the Internet. There's a lot of that up here. And uh, I just try to keep it real. The good things, the bad things. I can't always share everything, you know. Or nobody will ever trust you. You know, if I just came up here and told you everything, nobody would ever trust me. All right. They just wouldn't. <laughs> so I can't tell everything or ever, but I just ain't never going to let nobody take advantage of me. Okay. Or use me to build off of me. I just ain't going to do that whatsoever, ever. You know? For, I don't mind helping, right? But I definitely, definitely, definitely am not going to allow anybody ever to use me. It's just one of those things, okay? And, uh, but 
like I said, every channel is different. I just want you guys to know, even my hate channels that, you know, like to clump everybody up together, that everybody's not completely clumped together. <laughs> They're not. So, I mean, maybe you, your heels in the air are a team. You know what I'm saying? You got your Molly, your Betty, your JLR, right? Um, but that never involved me. Not one time, ever. I've never been involved with heels in the ground. The only person I ever teamed up with in this is really Betty. And Betty shared a lot of valuable information, and me and Betty was really useful to each other. So that made sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, the rest of it, when it came down to it, was internet show to me. Okay? I think far as true crime, serious about true crime, is your Betty. <laughs> okay? She's too serious. Like, could you calm down, lady? Like, you know, but she lit the rest of it. I don't know what their intent is. I wasn't round around them really long enough to know. Like Mallory, I think she just showed up to take a picture. I don't. I don't really know, to be honest. Because when I went back down there, she was already gone. Like you showed up for ten minutes. Why even come? You know, I didn't even meet her. Like she wasn't even there. Like. Like, I don't know what it was. I like, like, why did Molly show up? Why did she show up? I don't get it. What, what did Molly, what did she show up for? Where were any of these people in the beginning when it wasn't a story? Right? When nobody cared, where were everybody else at? I'm just curious on that one, okay? I'm just curious. I'm curious that one. When nobody else cared, there wasn't a team of YouTubers. There wasn't a whole pack of YouTubers out there, okay? I remember looking around. It was just me and old Betty over there, you know? Then it started doing, it's, it picked up steam. It picked up steam. Next thing you know, you got the damn YouTube world tour going on in front, <laughs> in front of the house, you know? But look, I don't regret none of that at all whatsoever. I learned so much in that. I learned about myself. I learned about the media. I learned how this YouTube shit works, right? I learned so much. I took so much from that Georgia stuff that I was like, okay, this, you got to like, like, sometimes you got to learn things the hard way, okay? You got to figure things out for yourself and and see what it really is, okay? I ain't here to talk bad about anybody. I don't need to click some views. And, and my titles ain't even that, you know? But I did want to address the fact because so many people are like, why are they doing this to you? Die? Come on, it's clicks and views. It's, that's all it is, you know? And I just, I don't want to, it's like giving away a magic trick, <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Like, I can't give insider secrets away. You know what I'm saying? It's like revealing a magic trick. You know? Is this an illusion? <laughs> or is this real? Okay? It confuses me. And I just don't want people to be too caught up in stuff like that. Okay? It's the internet, guys. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was there. Look, Betty, she stood her ground for me when I went to jail. And like I said, like, there's some people that are really true crime oriented, okay? And then there's some people in it that maybe it's just YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? There's some people that are passionate, like really passionate. And there's, then you have your shock value people. All right. They know when to turn it on kind of people. That's just truth. Everybody ain't the same. Everybody's not the same in it. Okay. They're just not. It's just, I think everybody plays their part, 
And maybe if you get the right people together, it, it, that them parts work together smoothly. But I don't know. You know, I just I just do not know when it's true crime stuff. I don't know what on the internet when people are being genuine, like really genuine, and when it's just like, all right, let me get on this because this is what's popping. Okay. Because if you don't care, then you just don't care. You know, if you're doing it because it's popping, then then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? When things wasn't popping off, wasn't nobody showing up in Georgia. I mean, that's, you know what I'm saying? So when you start seeing all these other people start popping up, you got to ask yourself, what, you know, what are your intentions? Are they real? Are they genuine? You know? And I believe this, that some of the people that came down there were genuine. And I believe that some of them won't. You know, I ain't going to tell you which ones. But some people are genuine in what they do. And some people ain't. Everyone hit that like for dollars! And buy my soap, okay? That's going to keep me alive. And I heard back from YouTube, they're not going to give me my monetization back on the other channel. They ain't going to do it. Not for 30 days. I'll get it back in 30 days. But what it's going to redo is it's going to reset all my members. So everybody probably most likely going to lose your memberships on that channel. Um, And then as soon as you lose your memberships, they're going to give it back to me. So you could either resubscribe or join or you could just join up here so i recommend just join up here okay um but that channel should be monetized back monetized in like two weeks or something like that but it will it'll start over at zero on the members and we'll have to get our members back up which we've been growing our members here have been growing pretty good over the last week thank you guys have joined up hit that join button boom keep dolly alive okay um YouTube trying to make me skinny. They they trying to get me them down to like 80 pounds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm already like, I wanted the doctor. The doctor's like, you been working out? I'm like, you dropped some weight. And I'm like, no. No, YouTube just ain't feeding me. <laughs> they don't want me to eat. They just like, they want Dolly dead. They want Dolly skeleton. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly bones. Okay. There's be a big bag of bones sitting here soon. So they, they pretty much hit me back and was like, it's so robotic, man. Dealing with YouTube is so horrible sometimes. I wish they had a better, it was a little more like, I don't know. I just wish you could call somebody and talk be like, hey, what's up? You know, something's going on with the channel. I mean, they all in all, the, I, you know, I, I all the stuff I see, this is what gets me, guys. And, you know, it's the the whole uh, us speaking about smoking or things of that nature or or saying the names of other things has then gotten in trouble, channel in trouble, apparently. Or something of that nature. They're so unclear about it. But at the same time, they show commercials of them selling the stuff here on YouTube. Okay, there's commercials. You can buy the gummies. The, there are people. You know what I'm saying? You can buy this legally. It's, and then they give you, like, somebody that works really hard to build a channel. And you say one wrong thing, and they just take everything you've built. Right? Just take it. I can't think of any job that you could get where they would go, okay, well, you can continue to work for free, but we ain't going to pay you. That's This don't seem right. It just don't seem right. Now, I could see if I was doing something horrible, or I was up here doing something dangerous, or any of those things that would affect the channel, or, or like, that kids would be, like, bad for a kid. I see so much worse every day on YouTube than what I did. But look, we can't sit here and have panels and everything and be censored. We can't. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, like, this channel is monetized, so we got to follow the rules, every single rule here. 
We're going to re-monetize the other Dolly Vision. We're going to have to follow the rules there. We're going to create another channel for these panels so people can say whatever they want. They can, you know, if they, if they you ain't got to be, I can't hold conversations as an adult and everything is censored. Oh, you can't say this. You can't say that because people are getting mad at me about it. Okay. And I got to stop people. I got to end, you know what I'm saying? No, we're going to start a smaller channel that just focuses on when we're doing that stuff, when I'm packing orders and we're doing the panels and your paper cut Tina's and your mail. We're going to have a channel for that, okay, to where we ain't got to worry about what we say. The channel's not monetized. If you like the channel, donate through Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. We ain't going to worry about Super Chats. We ain't going to worry about memberships. We ain't going to worry about none of that. What we're going to worry about is late night good times, okay, saying whatever we want to be able to say, not having to watch every single F-bomb and beep this. No, you say whatever you want to say. You know, it's going to be one of those things. If the channel gets taken, then they, they take the channel. But they won't. That's the thing is, is they would. It's so many people were striking the channel because we got so many haters that it brought eyes to the channel. There's so many channels that are so bad out here. And even with us saying whatever we want, our channel is clean. It is a PG-13 channel at the most. Okay. You have pure T hate channels that every other word is the F bomb. Boom, boom, boom all the time. Do we say F bombs? Yeah. But it is like, it's like in a conversation set and not just F this, you know, and there's so much worse. So we will create a place. All right. Another spot to where we can do our panels. Everybody can join us. We don't, I don't have to stop everybody like, no, Miss Ann, you can't say that. Watch what you say, Mel. Paper cut Tina, stop. Every three seconds, it drives me crazy. OK, we may not be able to do that stuff here. We'll keep it straight to true crime here. Phone calls, bam, 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 everything. But we're going to build another page. OK, Dolly Uncensored, you know, and, and it's not monetized. See, they won't take the channel for cuss words. You just can't monetize it. OK, so we'll be able to say whatever we want. No problem without any worries of losing that channel. We just won't never be able to monetize that channel. OK, which ain't a big deal. I'd rather be able to sit here and have conversations with you and it be real and you be able to say what you want. And I ain't sitting here like a, 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 a vocabulary person. You can't say that. You, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm sitting here with a book of rules. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. That's just too much. We'll create us another little spot. Once I get the other little spot, create it for the lives that, you know, where people are going to be coming up. I'll let you guys know the address and just sub it up. Okay. And then, when we go live there, we'll let you know. And then that's the nights that there will be panels. We just won't do panels here. Okay. Nights that are panels, we'll be like, tune in to Dolly Uncensored. And then you go to Dolly Uncensored, bam. And when we don't have to worry about, you know, if somebody says F bomb this, and then, you know, then we can keep it free, keep it flowing. Does that sound good to you guys? Sound good? Uh, YouTube takes 45% of Super Chats. I think it's 30%. But yeah, Cash Apps, Venmos, PayPals, that always helps. Big Brother's been making it hard on me, okay? And I honestly think I'm a, uh, you, like, I'm a good person to have on the platform. I'm pretty a positive person. I think my outlook is good. I don't, like, I don't promote bad things on the people. Like, I don't get it. I see so many worse people that just get away with everything in this whole entire world on YouTube and they will not let me do anything like nothing. But cause I got so many channels flagging it there in their discords, you know what I'm saying? And they're like simultaneously so they're mass flagging it, you know? And then that got YouTube looking at it. And then you, as soon as YouTube sees a little rule broke, they, they quick to drop the gavel on you, you know? So Even subs without a channel have been banned. I know. Senseless sense. I, I, it, ain't it, that, it ain't that they're censoring you. It's just they're saying, hey, if you say these things, we ain't paying you. Like, you can't make no money. Like, you won't be able to pay your cable bill. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to finance. You ain't going to be able to plan no trips for your channel. You know? And we use this stuff that, like, how you think I pay for the hotels, that all that stuff to go search and stuff. If you take the monetization of the channel, you just try to crush, you just crush the channel. 
You know, you just crush the channel. Channel can't build. How are we going to build it? Like nothing in this world is free. The lights ain't free. The cable ain't free. The power bill ain't free. The cameras that do it. The mics ain't free. The mic cords ain't free. But you then they want you to do it for free because they know people ain't going to stop YouTubing. You will need Dolly cheerleaders on that channel to drop the cash apps and whatnot. Well, that channel ain't it ain't so will be, you know, I ain't so much worried about the cash apps for that. It's more about the conversation and us having a good time and being able to do what we want is, is the main thing. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, we had some enemy, we had some enemies along the way and that, that didn't help, but we'll follow the rules and we'll set up a page too, to where we have a little more leniency where it's not monetized. It don't have to be advertiser friendly. Right. And then we can uh, we can cut loose a little bit. It's been a while since Lolo had a treat. Hit that thumbs up. Bam. Right. Well, there's like 700 of y'all here with me today, you know, and I didn't have to title title it a bunch of drama or I'm fighting with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, you don't have to do that for clicks and views. Sometimes just enjoy being able to see the chat. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy that the chat ain't moving 3,000 miles an hour. See, like Mab said, Dolly Uncensored is the bomb. See, I can see the chat, right? If Now, if there was, you had seven more hundred people to this, would I be able to see what Mab said, right? Or what Sunshine or Riley or anybody says? No. Sometimes you got to enjoy the fact that there's less people and that you can actually be a YouTuber again. What good is it YouTubing? on a live stream is you really can't talk to the people, right? At some point you just talking because you, there's 14, 1500 people watching. You can't hold a conversation, you know, I can't handle discord. I don't do that. And I don't plot on people like that. There ain't like a bunch of people behind the scenes plotting on other channels, but these other channels do that. That's for sure. They're right on their discord watching simultaneously together. Okay. Report it, report it. And they're mass flagging it. So you see people with Discord. I don't even trust YouTubers with Discord anymore. As soon as you say you got a Discord, I don't trust you. I'm like, I don't trust you. You're doing dirty stuff behind the scenes. And that's the way you don't want people to see it. You don't never see me go, hey, go with the Discord. Because we don't do that. Okay? There's a lot of things we don't do that other people do. And it's just the same game over and over again. I just about have everything done. We're actually going to put out the first ghost video is not even completely edited, right? Not completely, but we're already got something lined up to shoot the second one. Okay. So what it's looking like is they're both going to come out probably back to back. One's going to come out and then the other one's going to come out right after it. Okay. So yeah, there's been some delays. But everything's switching up now, so uh, we should have it, I don't know, within a couple of days. I know I keep saying that, but trust me, it's coming. It's just, it's some, I can't go into everything, but the video's coming. Give me a few days, a few days. and But I am, this weekend coming up, I think I'm shooting the second one. And we ain't got the first one out yet, okay? So we have the first one shot. It's just not all put together. And there's a couple cutaway pieces that I got to shoot. And there's one part that has to be reshot. Other than that, the video is pretty much ready to rock. And I will get the, the pieces that I need this weekend. So by Monday, the first one should be out. Okay. Because I just need a couple little things to wrap it up. And by Monday that video should be out. It's not going to be as long as it, it uh, uh, initially was supposed to be. Okay. Cause we were going to do them like a half hour, 45 minutes long. This one will be more around the 15, 20 minute mark. Okay. Now the second one, I'll be a little bit longer. Okay. And the second one, I'll be a little bit more me. This one was more the crew. I was with Dave, the Reese, us talking about it. But this next adventure will be more of a scary Dolly adventure. Okay. The whole day. I don't know if Dave's going to be with me. Um, Kim and all of them. 
but you will get Dolly in a scary, scary situation. So you probably just get me in the second one. The first one, you're going to get the whole crew. The second one, you'll probably just get me. And then in the third one, you're probably going to get the whole crew again. Okay. I got 684 likes. Awesome. Hit it up. Hit that like button. Don't be scared of it. It ain't going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Who else keeps it real with you? Die right. Okay. I'm going to bring y'all some ghosts. I'm going to bring y'all some true crime this summer. I'm going to bring y'all a bunch of BS. Okay. <laughs> but good times along the way. We're going to have some good times. That's all that matters. I don't know what all these other people are doing. I just know what Dolly's doing. You know, I know they got their cases that they're working. And I'm sure along the way, I will cross paths with some of these people. You know, there's just no way. Like, I'm sure I'm going to see Molly somewhere on a case. I'm sure I'm going to see Betty a thousand times. You know, the one person I'm surprised I ain't never bumped into is JLR. <laughs> he don't come around when I'm around for some reason. I don't know. Oh, he must not like my face. I mean, I heard he was in Tennessee while I was there, but I never seen him. You know, I've never actually physically seen him. So, yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't come around with dollies around. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dolly, did you see yesterday that Stacy Wander got out of jail? No, I did not see that. How the hell is Stacy Wander out of jail? Oh, no, I didn't hear about Stacy getting out of jail. That's crazy. I had to check into that tonight. Forever 23, really? Open phone. Okay, give me a second. I'll open the phone lines for a minute. I ain't got long, though, guys. I got to get out of here. And if you haven't yet, make sure y'all check out the website for Dolly Soap. I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. You got dry skin? Dolly lotion. You dirty? Dolly Soap, all right? Keep Dolly alive. That way we can get to the next big thing. Um, the search for Summer Wells, I'm sure by now, you guys, you know that's my next thing, okay? We're going to do a few weeks of searching for Summer Wells, and it's coming up here real shortly. If I don't get the vehicle, if, there's, if I cannot find the right vehicle... I do have something I, I may be able to use to make the search happen either way. Because I think I'm, I was getting worried. I'm like, man, I don't find a vehicle. How am I going to do this search? How am I going to, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, but I have somebody that may let me use their vehicle to go down there, which will tow my be, my tr place to stay. And we just switch vehicles for a couple of weeks. Okay. So if I don't find a vehicle, the good news is this. The search still happens. OK, I'm still going to be there. I'm still going to be staying there. Everything's the same. Um, hopefully. By Dolly Soap, I can find me a truck. <laughs> right. And I don't have to switch vehicles. And, you know, I'll be, uh, either way, either way. This happens. OK, it happens. So for anybody that worried that Dolly wasn't going to be down there and Dolly wasn't looking for. You don't have to worry. It's it's happening no matter what. OK. Hopefully, if it happens on a, you know, better situation where I ain't borrowing somebody's stuff and got to worry about, you know, anything. You know, it just makes me nervous borrowing people's stuff. I just get nervous. I never hurt nothing. Like, I don't tear my own stuff up. I drive. So, but it just makes me nervous borrowing somebody else's stuff. Ain't that, I, you know, I could pay for it if I broke it. But it still just makes me nervous. I'd rather have my own things, you know, and not have to worry about it. You know, a rock flies up, busts the windshield or something. It is what it is, you know. That's like that rental car I had. I was driving back from Tennessee, and a big rock flew right, busted the whole windshield out of the car. I was like, good thing this is a rental. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, man. When you get to Tennessee, you will buy my dinner. Thank you. Well, I'm going to be staying in Tennessee this time, okay? Before, I was just going down there a day or two at a time. This time, I'm actually going to grid map things out. I'm going to be searching this area one day. This area, the next day. You got to remember, guys, I'm going down there. I don't know a lot of people. I don't know anybody. I'm only going there to search. So every day I'm searching a different area. I mean, that's my plan. You know, this day I search here. 
This day I search here. This day I, until I run out of days. And that will be the biggest search that I put in. Because really, I've been out there searching for. But what are you going to search in a day? Really, let's be honest. You can't search much in a day. You can walk around that hill a few times, look up. and you, you ain't getting a lot done in a day. Even like if I map it out and go, okay, well, I'm going to cover this, this, this little mile radius t- today. And then just keep doing that until I work my way down. You know, I don't want to say where I'm going to be because they, they never know. They can move some. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of areas that need to be checked. I wasn't going to make a ghost hunting channel. The ghost hunting videos are coming here. They're coming to Dolly Vision. I wasn't making a ghost hunting channel video. I'm just bringing the ghost hunting videos here to break up some of the true crime stuff. Okay. So I'm not making a whole nother channel for the true crime. I mean, for the ghost hunting. It's all combined into this one channel. For the live streams where I'm going to be doing panels, I am making a new channel. It'll be a brand new channel. It'll probably be like Dolly Uncensored or something like that. Um, and that way we can do the panels. We ain't got to worry about what Tina says. She can sew her hamsters. She can talk about whatever she wants to talk about in this whole entire world. So can Miss Ann. So can, you know, because they're funny about medical, talking medical stuff. Talk, it's just funny about a lot of things when you're monetized. So we, we start another channel unmonetized and we let you guys be you. Okay. We let some of the, you know. We, I don't want to censor you guys. And here, you can't be you. We'll just do it somewhere else. I can't believe we haven't found Sweet Summer. We, You know, not yet. Right? Not yet. I know there's a lot of people saying, she ain't never going to be found. No, I don't believe that. I don't even think like that. I don't even let that seep into my mind, okay, that she's not going to be found. Because I know she is. I, I don't know when she's going to be found. But I know she's gonna be found. I got I got faith, I got hope, and I just know. Some things in this world you just know. Like when you know, you know. You're welcome, Jeannie. We will take care of Jimmy. Who was the potato number five hundred and twelve on the like? What's the link for the new channel? We ain't created it yet. I just wanted to touch bases with everybody, let everybody know. Say, hey, because, you know, we're dealing with a little bit of censorship, you know, on the monetized end. So we'll just create something that's not monetized. You guys just have to support it other ways. And we build it from there. And we'll do that It'll be for the live panel. So when guests are coming up, multiple people are coming up onto the panel. We'll have a channel for that. That way, if y'all say something, YouTube don't take my monetization away. OK, and we can still afford to go look for some or go look for whoever goes missing and things of that nature and keep building that's the important thing is building we've built a lot we've come a long way over the last couple of years there's still a lot left to build it, it so i just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing turtle on the loose uh march managed watching basketball i got a bunch of stuff soon march soon as I had planned on staying here for my kid's birthday anyway, which is the 23rd. Tiff Tiff turns 23, the 23rd, okay? So I planned on being here for her big 23 birthday, you know? So she's getting old. <laughs> my baby's getting so big, right? So she's turning 23, and my plan was to be here for her birthday, then leave, go look for summer, okay? The way things are looking now, is I'm going to be here for my daughter's birthday, the 23rd. I'm going to be the 27th in court for the murder of my friend. And then that's five days. Then we start planning summer wells. Okay. So I was going to do it at the end of March, but it looks like I'm going to have to do it the beginning of next month. Okay. So everybody wants to help search. says they'll take part. That's looking the time frame, okay? Now, I didn't plan on the stuff coming down on the 27th. I didn't know anything about the courts until today. So my plan was actually to be down there, was leaving after the 23rd, right after the 23rd, with the original plan, okay? Which I ain't told nobody, but now the plan's changing, so it don't matter. So my plan was leave the next day, okay? Right after my kid's birthday, 
stay here, celebrate the birthday with her, take her out to dinner, them type things. Boom, down to Tennessee, start the search. With the court case not starting to the 27th, there's no point in me riding down to Tennessee, coming back, and then having to go back to Tennessee. So I'm going to go to Tennessee after Sammy Joe and this dude goes to prison for the rest of his life. Okay? That's going to be my plan, guys. And when that starts to fall into place, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know in the DMs when I'm there. Okay, so if anybody wants to come out and help me day to day search different areas, and if you can only help one day, that's perfectly fine. If you come out, help a couple days, that's pretty, if you, you know, any part you can do, or just if you know some places or locations or stuff like that, anything you can do to help is always greatly appreciated. Happy early birthday to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whose birthday it is today, but happy birthday to you. Okay. And like I said, uh, I'll start getting the other channel together tonight, right? Because I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to do late night. And you know, when I do the late night work in the studio where I'm packaging and I'm doing the t-shirts and I got a lot of t-shirts to do tonight. So I'll try to get the channel together tonight. I'm not positive. That way I can have a stream where, you know, I got other people do talking so I can work a little bit. That's usually why I do the panels. If I'm doing a panel, it's because I'm working in the studio and I got a ton of stuff to get done. So April may be warmer. Your birthday is this weekend. A lot of March babies. Yeah, right. There's a lot of March babies. You said you were opening the phone lines. Okay, I'll I'll keep the phone lines open for the next 13 minutes. And then I got to go at four. Okay. Phone lines are open. The call-in number. Let me see. Do I have a... I'll put the call-in number on the screen. Right there. There's the call-in number. 757-797-6694. Call-in lines are open. I talked y'all to death today. I talked for a good song. Just me. Dolly. Dolly. What up, Mab? Mab. What's good with you? Dolly Uncensored. Yeah, I think and that's what we're going to run with. Sounds cool, man. So that way we can get the panels back up and going. We just got to get everybody to sub it up, love it up, and all that good stuff. Yeah, because how can you have panels under those kind of a strict rule set? I don't think it would work. I don't either. I want to go back to the way it was where anybody could say whatever they wanted to say. Yeah, within reason. And I want to be able to smoke. Yeah, I noticed that <laughs> smoke since that day. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going yeah, by their rules. Dolly, uh, the picture goes off. That's when you're hitting it, man. Nah, never, man. I quit. Um, no, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm just saying, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get that set up and going back, and we'll just get everybody, to, you know, to add it up, and it'll be, it'll be a cool place to where we can be ourselves again and don't have to worry about so many restrictions. We just won't monetize it. Why not? No, you can't monetize it because it'll be on a different platform. Yeah, one, I mean, you no, know, no, no. It's going to be, we're going to do it on YouTube. We're just going to do it on a, see, my channel is monetized. So if you break the ad-friendly rules, they can take your monetization. It ain't right. that we're breaking YouTube rules. Like, we're breaking the, the monetization rules. I've never seen an ad on a Dolly Live or a Dolly video. A rewatch, a rewatch. Because I don't usually monetize the videos. Okay. My channel is more funded by you guys. Y'all guys usually donate. It ain't it ain't one that I make money no, on ads. Super yeah, chat, membership. Yeah, that's where like a lot of people like put a bunch of video ads in their videos. I don't do that because you guys donate to me. So my right. my my channel is paid for by YouTubers, not by YouTube. You see what I'm saying? I don't use YouTube ad revenue. If the channel is is funded by you guys, not I'm not getting paid from YouTube really. It's very little. Really, gotcha. Yeah, because I don't have I don't make oh, videos you know, and I don't. You got your new website. I think that took off well yeah. when you did the website. See, a lot of these tubers are they're they're getting money off of ad revenue. 
and you got to get a lot of views and you got i'm not getting all that you know what i'm saying so i'm 150,000 200,000 subscribers yeah i'm not making no money like that off of youtube i i barely get by off of youtube it the, now what's helping right now is everybody buying the soap right cuz that's yeah, going to get me out on the, yeah thank god for that website i'd be sitting here crying right now it's the only way source of <laughs> keeping Dolly Vision alive right now. They got to have two or three, adopt two or three kids and get them on the factory line making that soap. Nah, yeah, I ain't doing all that. But yeah, <laughs> I need, to, yeah, thank God everything, you know, everything happens for a reason. We put the store in place right before we lost everything. So it's worked out. So it's, it's, it's picked up a little bit. So it didn't, it didn't crush us and it's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good blow to take all our members away. Yeah, still never found out what exact video it was. No, or exactly what we did in the video. I'm sure anybody's video uh, doesn't, you know, go with the terms of service. I think they could shut anyone down at any time. And yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and honestly, YouTube don't even have to have a reason to shut you down. They say they can take you out the partner program for any reason at any time. So platform as much as like Rumble. Um, I mean, I love YouTube. I thank YouTube every day for giving me a voice. I I don't watch mainstream media. I get all my news from YouTube. (coughs) I got a specific set of channels that I go to that I trust. Somebody says, yeah. was it Don Wells peeing? No, no, it wasn't Don Wells peeing that got it uh, restricted or whatever took it off. I don't think it had nothing to do with sorry Don Wells. Sorry about you losing your friend, man. Yeah, Sammy Joe, that was a Crazy. sad one, man. So hopefully. She's a good looking little woman. She's a good looking woman, too, and she didn't deserve to have that happen to her. Oh, I know, man. Yeah, yeah uh, too. I mean, he must be reeling right now. Yeah, I ain't had a chance to talk to him in a while, man. It's going to be weird to see him. I haven't seen him since it happened. I seen him right before it happened, but I haven't seen it since it happened. So I really don't, I don't really know what happened inside the house. How is that dude not in prison before this? I don't know. I have no clue to that one. I mean, I said the same thing. He has abduction charges. He had all kind of be a kidnapper and a raper and not ever go to jail. I mean, not not go to jail for long. Yeah. I mean, I said the same thing. Crime is getting to be legal in this United States. Almost. Well, we got to start letting bad people out of jail is what it is. Exactly. When you got violent, like, uh, we got to stop treating numbers. violent criminals like they're regular criminals. They got a docket in the prosecutor's office and they have to keep that docket moving, which means people are going to jail and the jails are peeling up instead of kicking up people who are busted for weed or some stupid shit. They're letting out these hard and nice criminals. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of them out there and, uh, I don't know. The world is crazy, and I'm just hoping when I go to court that, you know, I see this dude get the rest of his life in prison, he'll never have the chance to hurt another girl like this, you know? Yeah. Um, Sammy Joe, she was she's a funny chick. She's a trooper. She was like one of the fellas. You know what I'm saying? She's right. a really pretty yeah. girl, but she's the kind of that. chick that would jump on a four-wheeler with you, jump in a mud hole with you. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't all prissy. You know, she was... <laughs> To, to the fellows around, she was like one of the dudes to us. She was just sit, hang out, watch football with you, drink. You know what I'm saying? She's just like yeah. one of the fellows. So we, everybody knew the dude was bad, and everybody in the neighborhood, we all tried to hide her. You know what I'm saying? But this dude hunted her what down. When someone's got a gun in your face, I mean, it's down to do I want to die after being beaten the hell out of with a gun in yeah. my face? And I'll find out. Want to make this phone call? And well, I mean, I'm no, I'm not positive what what transpired in the house, but I mean, I guess I'll know here in a few days what transpired in the house. So I know it. I know it wasn't good. I know it wasn't no. good. That dude, just looking at him, I could tell. 
Yeah, and that's that's one of them I knocks. Like huh? There's a grocery store. I'd be like, watch that dude. Can you imagine opening your door and you got a, a 40 cal right in your face? I had a karate kick it out of his hand and beat his ass. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I that sounds I, good in the movies, but I mean, in actual real life, you, you open it. You can't come up on my house without me knowing. Yeah. My dog's out there. Plus, I got, you know, protection here. So. Yeah, I mean, for the average person, people. The average person, no. How often do you answer your door with a gun in your hand? You know I'm what I'm good. saying? Like, I think to myself. And I got a really powerful flashlight that I look out. And if it's not the UPS guy, mm-hmm. then I don't open it. Yeah, most you know, people just, you like know, most thing. people, I think, just go to their door. Hello, who is it? I open the door up. You know, you don't expect somebody to be standing there with a uh, gun in your face. I got glass on my door, old-fashioned door, and I can see out the street. And my dog's sitting out there. So when he barks, I look from where I'm watching you, I can see the street. Yeah, I hate my front door. It has a glass in it, too. So the only bad thing is, like, you can't go look out my door. People know you're at the door. I hate that. Like, if I want to peek out and be like, oh, I ain't here and I ain't going to say nothing, I can't go to my door like that because you can see me. I can't either unless I'm in the other room. Yeah, I'm, I, comes up on my house unless they're a friend. Yeah, but as soon as you come off on my up towards my porch, my camera dings to my phone. So it vibrates mm-hmm. in my pocket. I got two security cams I need to hook up, but they're the kind that require power. So I got to run a outlet through the brick. Oh, okay. And run power up there, which I haven't done yet because I've been working on that dang mountain lion sanctuary. Just now rent it as of April 1st. And I was like, dang, that means I can't come through the hot tub anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got rented out to a friend of mine's kids. So they're cool. But I'll probably jump down and let somebody else call in, bro. Okay, Mab. You be good, my man. All right, man. Take it easy. Peace. Peace. Um, thank you, Short Legs. Yeah, we just watch what we say here on this channel. Like I said, tonight I'll put another channel together. Do, uh, you know, panels from. Dollar. What's up, BT? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It's me. I know. It's, it's just me again. It's just me. It's just me, man. Hey, man. We all, we all, uh, turtles tried together for you, man. You know, uh, I got sucked into getting on live like two weeks ago after the live that caused whatever caused on your channel. Mm hmm. Because somebody was talking crap about how. We were talking to Tina, and I thought, you know, I had to get on there and try to set her a little straight that <coughs> we were trying to do the best that we knew how to, you know, the best things we knew how to say. She was judging the shit. Sorry. Oh, yeah. We, I ain't worried about what people say about, you know, I, I don't worry about the hate channels. And, and I'm like, dude, this is how, you know, we were trying to support her no matter how you're looking at it. It's just, you know, we were doing the best that we knew how to try and, and, and ease her mind and whatnot, make her feel a little better. And, and I, I was actually kind of mad, and, and I was up there for a couple minutes, you know, talking to her, and I'm like, she started asking me all these, I'm like, all right, uh, you know, whatever, I got to go. But I had to respond, and, and she sucked me in, you know what I mean? This is what I'm, I was getting at. Because I, I seen what was she was saying, uh-huh. just have to come up. I don't, like I said, that night I even said, I don't see click channels and stuff. I don't see anything. But now I'm seeing them all over the place, so <laughs> whatever. But I don't know if they're seems like some are against you and some are for you though too i don't know what i'm seeing you know it doesn't seem like they're saying anything real bad about you on some channel no it ain't that, everybody's been leaving me alone pretty much lately they got other people that are way worse than me out there that they're going after here lately so and then, I, they, then they, they try to get you, i've been you know? forgot about pretty much I, i'm good with that that's how they keep their channel going so i mean you know, if they're talking about you that's keeping you fresh still too so you know thank you yeah but i ain't trying to be fresh <laughs> You I'm trying to be out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. <laughs> right. Stop bringing me up. You know what I mean. It's just, uh, hey, everybody in chat, I see y'all. It's just it's just a silly game that they play. And you know, you know the game. Wintertime is my hibernation. Mess with me in the summer. 
<laughs> you hibernation in the summer? No, I hibernate in the winter. That's when I don't like to be messed with. Uh, mess mess right. with me when I'm in the summer, when I'm out traveling and, and doing stuff. Yeah, while well, you're actually awake, awake. <laughs> yeah, don't harass me while I'm just sitting in the studio. Right. Yeah, just, you know, and we all we all are behind you 100%. Usually, no matter what we're going to hear about you, you you talk, told us most of the bad stuff in your life, you know. You, yeah. you talk to us about. Things, yeah, you know? I, I don't I don't want people to do the same stupid stuff that I've done, make the same stupid mistakes I've done. That's, I mean, that's always been my thing with my kids. Please don't do what I did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if one person learns from my mistakes, at least I help one person. Right on. Right on. I hear that, man. And that that's an awesome thing. And, and you have a lot of people. And in your chat, we all talk to each other, you know, and I think we all help each other, too. You know, we try to bring people up when they say they're having a bad day. We all give them some support and stuff like that. And that's what that's what a, a gang does. Well, I don't know, gang or tribe or whatever, you know. That's what yeah. a group of people do. And so we're, we're going to be here behind you, too, you know. So don't worry it's, about it's crazy to hear a bunch of older women talking about they're in a gang. Hey, I'm in a daughter gang, right? Yeah, grandma's <laughs> in a gang. She's in the turtle gang. <laughs> Great grandma. Now I had a yeah. we had a we had a newbie in the family. My grandson had a baby, so we were great grandma. That's scary. <laughs> I'm too young for that, for sure. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to call in and say, man, yeah, don't let them fools. Let them be fools and. And and we'll just be wise, you know what I'm saying? You know the game. All right, BT. Right on, man. We got you got our support, 100, percent dude. All right, you be good. Turtle, turtle rock. Peace. Turtle rock. Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right, let me cut my camera back on now. How do I cut this camera back on? All right, I'm back in action. Let me go over here so y'all can actually see my ass a little bit. All right, let's see what the chat's talking about. I got just a couple more minutes I can hang out with you guys, and then I got to get out of here. Dolly. Give me something real quick. I know what? you want to wrap it up. First off, I want to say my condolences to your friend. Horrible. Very sorry. Yeah. and Well, it's been it's been a little over a year now. It just took him that long to get the guy to court. Yeah, well, you know, more to follow and you'll let us know. So I keep my promise and I'll make this quick. Uh, I was watching some more on the uh, West Memphis Three. I mm -hmm. found out a couple of little things that you can't make this up. The Jesse Miss Kelly case number is this as follows. 9305066. Yep. Can't make it up. Mm -hmm. And one other thing, uh, the Damien Eccles. Right. His books are High Magic, A Guide to Spirituality. His next was Ritual. The following was Angels and Archangels. And his latest is High Magic Invoking. He also said he had an interview with Eddie Vedder, one of your favorite guys from the band, but I know, <laughs> inside joke, from the band Pearl Jam in Seattle. He interviewed him for over 12 hours in front of a live audience where Damien said the 18 years that he was in prison, 10 of it in the last 10 years being in solitary confinement that he practiced up to eight hours a day of magic. So, you know, I don't know what that says one way or the other. I just thought you'd find that interesting. So I'm going to wrap it up and say to you all, let's keep Jimmy, not skinny, but a little puppy. Let's get the meat back on his bones. And you can all do that by going over to buydollysoap.com. Dolly Soap is 100% the best soap in the game. Such fragrances like Cool Turtle Water and Captain Crunch Berry. So, please go over there and do that right away. Let's get Dolly back to where he belongs. He worked hard for this, folks. All right. Cobra Kai is officially left the building. You take care, my friend. I'll catch you on the next show. What guy? All right, Johnny. Peace. Yeah, you know, them dudes are absolutely evil. That's why it's case number 666. I told you the dude is the devil. Some things, some people you can't hide the evil in. Like, I can just tell when you're evil, you know? Like, I have an evil radar. Oh, it's my good buddy from Virginia. Dollar, dollar, dollar! Oh my lord! What did you say? I did, no, 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 no. 
You're so great. You hyped up today. What's up? What's good with you? You drank too much soda pop. So much soda. Mm. Ice. I had ice today. I'm balling. Shot calling. Oh, you shot calling. Oh, okay. No, who, um, uh, I don't like to start crap, but, um, the little, one of the, the one that called before this guy, your promoter that just got off the phone, he's, he's a trip. Um, the one that called before. Uh huh. I don't know. I forget the name. Dang it. You go, you go crazy when you, she goes crazy when she gets on the phone with you. Okay. I don't remember who it was. B, starts with a B. Beachy. It was Beachy. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. I'm just saying. I, more voice. Was she replying to someone on your, another Hey channel, or is she replying to a caller that called in concerning Tina? How did you get to just that? I don't know. Something about another channel that was talking about Tina. Uh, well, all, a lot of channels do that mess. Oh, yeah. She's a superstar. They, I came across that. They just pop up, and they're always got something going on with one of them. Oh, I know. I know. I don't I, I don't have enough time to keep up with all of them anymore. I don't keep up when they pop up, and they get like a little clip. I'm going, oh, Lord, what, this is too funny. Um, no, but I thought she was referring to the day that I called, because I did – I do promote no bullying. And yes, I did. And I'll continue to, but what's the, I saw a little bit of it when you were doing it earlier, who was throwing you under the bus? What? When well, you were talking earlier, somebody, everybody wants to throw you under the bus. You don't want to be thrown under the bus. What I'm saying is people are arguing and then they're like F Dolly. You know what I'm saying? You know arguments, they're doing when the arguments ain't got nothing to do with me. That's what I'm saying. Don't throw me under the bus. I ain't did nothing to none of y'all. Oh, I did. I just heard the crazy a little bit. I saw just happened to run across it where they were arguing, and you know what it is, and you know that you like you said you've got new YouTube. All they're doing is causing drama, so people will look at them. I mean, I know the game. I didn't know the game last year. I know the game this year. You know, I, I didn't know the game either until I start. Like I said, because we've only watched it for like six months. Until I started watching, and you can really, if you're good, if you've been in management and you've been around, you've taken studies and whatever. And how people schools, you know when someone's conning you, and Molly is conning so bad. Is she? Oh no, them two. To, mm, 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 they're wasting my time. Yeah, I mean, the but thing that says is she mad or she's just drumming up views. You know, she's drumming up views because she ain't got as many, and so is the other wackadoodle. And I hate to say it, but none of y'all. The only ones I see true crime is really doing something is maybe you and Betty, but the rest of it is so nonsense. It is so great. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't understand how people get into it and really. Even watch that mess. I don't understand it. I, I mean, they ain't got nothing else to watch. You got to watch some. Sometimes, I mean, you think of soap operas. How many people watch soap operas? Uh, how many men? I mean, probably when I was in my teens, not no more. I ain't got time for the drama. And plus, men you watch like the WWE, and all that is is a man's version of a soap opera. You know what I'm saying? So That's people true. like drama. There's, there's. You look at them. They, they got a lot of people tuning in them to watch them fight. You know what I'm saying? They were just best friends two days ago. Well, she was just at her place two days That's ago. That's what I'm then saying. They, then they cocked this up. Let me see how many I views I can get. And we sat there and fight about craziness. And still, it was, I ain't never seen such a in my life. Yeah, then so, they'll, they'll make a stream two months from now where they forgive each other. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, but then, I can figure out how you got into it. I said, I didn't see enough about you. I said, how did he get into it? I don't know. Just, you know, anytime anybody finds a reason to argue, they always got the one of F. Dolly. <laughs> you ain't done nothing. Hey man, you just pulled out in front of me. F Dolly. Okay. <laughs> but you really ain't been, I really been, you know, with them or talking or, you know, cockoxing with them or anything. Uh uh. I'm in my own uh, box. You ain't, you, know old, your old you ain't doing it. I've been in my own jail cell. I impersonated myself. And that's what I'm saying. So you really ain't been, I thought, I, I thought ain't even it was left the house in two months. You know what I'm saying? You I ain't even left the crib. That's, girl. that's what I say. That's why when you said you were thrown in there, how was he thrown in? He ain't even in that. That's what I'm saying. Y'all fight, leave me out y'all fights. I wouldn't know hospitals. I ain't, you know. Exactly. And I told you how it feels, but exactly. I got on your face. I wasn't that's under that. I, I ain't got nothing to do with none of the, whatever y'all got going on. Don't F Dolly in there. They got <laughs> you know it. Maybe somebody's going to, you know, then everybody wants to look and carry the, carry the mess and carry the drama. You know, oh, Dolly's a part of it now. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know Dolly came with a click in a view, but I guess it does. 
Really? I, I was talking. I'd talk about somebody cooler than me. You were so crazy. You know That's why I asked the other day, is YouTube really that crazy where it gets to the point where you got to make up a little soap opera crap to carry? Just to get Who can I fight with? Let's pick a fight with somebody. I don't know. Who can oh, we fight what, with? Who do y'all want to snap at, Turtles? Who do y'all want to snap at? I'll make up something real quick. You know, but also, you know, remember Chronicles of Olivia? Some girl was around for, and now they're mad at her, too. Congratulations to Chronicle Olivia. She got her plaque. One day, Dolly will have that plaque. I don't hate on people. Congratulations to the girl. She works hard. She does really good editing got, and things like that. Don't, take, don't take her fame, you know. I'm just saying though, they're they're giving her grief now too for no reason. I couldn't. I said, "What?" It's jealousy, you know. Why, why be jealous? Well, what, You're doing the same thing. I don't know. You know, the the girl did good. She she put out those videos. She deserves it. Congratulations, Olivia. If you're watching this, congratulations to you. I don't hate you. She got a plaque. I didn't know. I just heard them cracking on her. I'm gonna have my plaque on the wall too. Olivia just got hers before me. I know I'm getting mine. I knew Olivia would have hers. Right. Yeah. Well, that's good. I didn't know that. I know that now. But I'm just saying, it's funny when you, you're all best friends down there going to place to place and doing all this stuff and staying in the same hotels and all of a sudden, we don't like each other no more. I don't think everybody stayed together in the same hotels in none of the states we stayed in. Not you. I mean, oh. Betty and Olivia. Oh, yeah. Maybe Betty and Olivia. But I think yeah. Betty and Olivia still get along. I think they might be like... They might get at each other for a little while, but I think they're still buddies. I'm not for sure. I haven't talked to talk to them like that. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, that, you know, that's high school stuff. It's yeah, kind of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody should hate on her for her success, though. You know, um, and and this is is like you help her success, and then when she gets it, you hate on her, right? Then why help her get the success if you're just going to hate her when she gets the success, like? Exactly. That's what I thought. I think be happy for everybody. Yeah. Oh, have you, um, also, I'm going to remind you because I know, I know you've got a short memory span, like you said. Did you ever get Justin his belt? No, no, no. I have it. Not yet. No, but I am. I'm in the process of all that. If not, I'm going to pay him. Mm. Cash. His, not- so his, his, his kids would probably like him to have the belt better. I you know. know. They- I said the same thing. I, I think he would be better off with the belt because Justin ain't broke. What good does Cash do him? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so you ought to do that because you can't start your other thing until you do that. Well, yeah. Once I get this belt ordered, I'm starting my other program. I just want to make sure it's in hand. You know what I'm saying? Beforehand. <laughs> so once I yeah. order it, it gets it gets out to me. I mean, they ship it out in a few days. It's just I got to order it. Um, right. I got to make sure I do that. I'll do that this weekend. I'm going to get Justin's yeah. belt out to him this weekend. And put it on your Yeah, because I want to see it too. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him with it. Right. Because that's a weird one, you know. Not only that, but I'm getting me one too. But I'm getting mine says something else. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send you a pad of sticky notes and you need to put them all over the house. What am I going to write on them? I, oh, I did get me a uh, dry erase board today. How about that? See? I'm making steps. I'm making steps. I'm making steps. That's right. That's you know what good. I'm saying? I'm going to write stuff on it that I can't remember. I'm going to put right. it right there on the wall, right there in front of me. And then I'm going to check off things every day that I need to do. Right. When you get older, you have to do that. You understand? Your brain starts. <laughs> yeah, because I was supposed to print out a bunch of labels, and I just remembered it now that I said it. I need to print See? out a bunch of labels. Exactly. You forget stuff because your mind's thinking about other stuff as it's turning, you're, you're, and then you forget it completely. Yeah, yeah. But look, you be good. I got to get ready to get out of here. Yeah, all right. Behave. All right. I will. Bye. Peace. I don't know how good I'll behave, but I will behave. Um, BHB isn't involved in the, in the childish hate. Yeah. Like, look, them people, all I'm saying is they don't hate each other. I don't think any of these people hate me, even though they're talking crap. Right. It's just, things are slow right now. And everybody's just talking to get views. Once every time a big story pops, all these people work out their differences. That's just how the internet works. But right now, you know, it's the drama time. So enjoy the drama. Because it's only going to last until a big case breaks. Okay. So if you're into drama, this is your moment in time that you get that on the internet. I'm not going to give you too much of it. I might, you know, give you a few jokes here and here if it gets too crazy. But, you know, I retired from that sector of uh, entertainment. Okay. 
BHB still loves Olivia. I'm sure they got a like a buddy buddy relationship. Olivia's cool, you know. Um, Betty's hard to keep up with. <laughs> And uh, like I said, everybody's different. Everybody, even in their crew, like you would think, everybody thinks, like everybody is their own individual, you know, in it, which makes it weird because it's not like a, a normal team where everybody's 100 together in a cohesive unit. I don't think it's so much. They think it work, but they're, they're their own individuals. Each one of them is a little bit different than each other. Dolly! Oh, fun. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Dolly! Hi, Hi and it's Melinda. Hey, Melinda. How you doing? You know, another day on these YouTube streets. Uh, I know. Pulling uh, yeah. time. <laughs> so to speak. They said I got 20 years hard on these YouTube streets. I'm just doing my time. Oh man, you know, you know, I love what you're my favorite. I'm the man in the box. You make me so happy every day when I see you. I swear to God. Anyway, listen, so I just happened to be watching this program where they were talking about when Summer went missing. Uh huh. The phone call was at 7 07 p.m. Uh huh. Hello, did the girl not go missing? I swear it's. She's, that seemed to me that she went missing around three or four. What, what? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was uh, what damn time did Jody Sue Brown say it was when she came off the hill, like five thirty six or well, something. It it seems to me this phone call. I'm listening to Don, I believe, calling you know about the missing child. Uh -huh. They're saying seven o'clock. That's a long freaking time difference. That he now called, I he huh? called that Don called the police at seven. Well, this is the one I'm happily I'm actually watching at the moment. I said, I seriously, I stopped and I said, I'm calling Dolly, and I said he's probably sleepy. <laughs> this is I, I hate to, I don't I'm not going to say what program I'm watching because you don't like that. Uh huh. And I never watch it. It just happened to come up. And this one's saying that the phone call was made at 7.07. Now, I'm going to say this. I was, I was listening to another program about how Don did nine months in isolation when he was in jail. Anyway, I don't think Don had a big gone thing to do with this. On the other hand, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just had the suspicion about Candace. Yeah. And, and I wish, you know, I wish I didn't, but there is a lot. I don't lot. know. Uh, there's a lot of time lapse there, Ye and I, I think I think like you did. I think there might have been an accident. Yeah, that's what I've just, always thought. Maybe possibly yeah, accident. Just didn't know to ha how to handle it. She'd rather say, "Oh my God, she's missing," than to say, "Oh my God, you know she she accidentally had the dry drowning, or she was well." Nobody in the car. Nobody wants to uh, get in trouble. Even and when they do was, something wrong, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like if you right. do something wrong, you still don't want to get in trouble. And I, I think you, you're left with a decision. Either you do the right thing or you do the wrong thing. And then once you do the wrong thing, there's never, never no coming back from it. And I don't know that's if like, that's true, you know, but could that be a possibility? I think, yes, that could be a possibility. And listen to what this is also the, in this <coughs> report. It says the last they saw summer, she was walking away from the home never was that set it was reported in the beginning that that she was seen walking away from the home on one of the news programs well i that mean i don't know if the news accurate maybe like, said it that way yeah they said it maybe one way but maybe that ain't exactly what happened you know what i'm uh -huh. saying the news ain't always 100 i hate to say that they're not they I'm, make mistakes I, like anybody else I've, I've listened to you telling me telling about the um all the anchor people and everything, yeah, you know, how they were acting. And that's really, I don't know why that's surprising to me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the news ain't quite as, uh, as um, professional as you would 100% right. believe they would be, you know, mm -hmm. and that's a learning experience for me. I'm not used to dealing with news people and seeing how they act. You know what I'm saying? I just, I they just didn't act like I thought news people should act. I 
always figured they were the m- most utmost respectful when they were out. <laughs> oh, no, no, nah, nah, that ain't how it works. Not. No, nah, that ain't quite how it works. <laughs> we need maybe when that scenes. camera turns on, maybe as soon as that camera turns on, yes. But when that camera's off, no, they're different people. Golly, we need a camera crew to follow the reporter so we can see what goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, right. Tr- truly. Mm. like, And they're so competitive with each other. It's, it's like, you know how YouTubers got beef when one's right. doing good and one, you know, they are the same way. They're exactly the same as YouTubers, but it's, it's on the street. Do you know that I never knew? I heard this years ago that anger people, I don't want, I don't, vicious is not the word, but they fight to have as much airtime as they can. Yeah. Who knew? I thought that's your job. You're just supposed to show up every day. They're competitive. You know? They're super competitive. And you yeah. work at one station, you hate everybody at the other stations. They're out there evil eyeing each other. You know what I'm saying? Talking crap mm-hmm. about each other. It's just like a YouTube channel, but they're not on YouTube. You know, you it's know the what? same drama, the same thing. You know, was- you know. Well, he and, needs uh, he needs to get his act together because right now, like with, oh, with everything going on. The both yeah. of them, they need to get, to get their act together. That's the real thing. First, once they get their act together, then go from there. You can't, you can't skip steps. You know, now, Dolly, I watch you every single day, every single day, and and if it's a program I miss because you're up at night, I watch that too. So I know exactly what you're saying and how you feel about it. But uh, I, honestly, I, I can't see them both quit drinking. And I and when is it when they go to court for the boys? I think they've already been to court for the boys, but I'm not for sure. <coughs> Me, I will hope they publicize that. That that's very difficult. Well, there's the gag order on the boys, so they've been showing up to court for something, and it's not criminal. So the only thing they could be showing up to court for is the boys. Okay, so well, I'd sure like to know about those. I'd love to sit down and talk to them, young men. I bet they. You know, I don't know if they know about that particular situation, but I think they could tell a lot about other situations. Yeah. Hey, Kayla, mm-hmm. look, I got to get ready to get out of here, but look, I appreciate you okay. calling in, and we'll chop Bobby it up Dolly. more next time. Peace. Okay, you bet. Peace. All right. Let me close Ooh. this, guys, so the phone don't ring again. Um, Stacy uh, Wandra got out of jail. That is unbelie- unbelievable. So... It's hard to believe that they let this person out of jail. Man, man, I hope Brandy's okay today, you know. And Brandy, if you're watching, big hugs to you, you know, still praying for you, girl. Uh, Man, I don't want to see these people out of jail, nothing like that. I will check into that, guys, you know, in a little while. I'll dig into what, what's going on with the Stacey Wander thing, and maybe when we get back tonight, we'll talk about that a little bit. But I hope that ain't the case. You know, that would be insane to me. Like, they, you know, these people put, like, Brandy through a lot. Like, a lot. I could, I just, every day is up and down with that. You know, like, man, one day that girl will get peace of mind, maybe. You know, that's what I pray for for her, man, is one day that she can, that she could probably relax, you know, that's it, so, if they let them people out of jail, shame on them, there's no reason in the world these people should be out of jail, and they need to find monkey, okay, digging up, dig up everything, I don't care what you gotta dig up, dig up all of Idaho, for all I care, but find that little boy, give that family some closure, and bury these people under the jail, not let them out to jail, right? Bury them under the jail. They didn't just take, they crushed this woman's whole life. But they didn't just take her kid. They took part of her. And that is horrible. That is horrible to see, you know, and to witness it. It's like looking at somebody that part of them's missing. And that's what I see every time I look at Brandy. So, 
I hope and pray that the people that are responsible, and it looks like th these are the people that are responsible for whatever's going on, that they pay severely. Okay? Not a little bit. A lot. And then when they're done paying that, they need to pay some more. Okay? Anyway, you guys have been awesome. Thank you for coming by. Make sure you like the video. If you're super cool, share it on any social media platform. If you ain't checked out Dolly Soap and lotions and body washes, support the cause. Keep Dolly alive. Buy DollySoap.com. Okay? It's where you get all my merch, my t-shirts, my hoodies, my soaps, my lotions, everything to keep me and Lolo eating. That's where you get it. Check it out. If anything, we like window shoppers. You might see something you like. Might come back later and get it. Just peep it out. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later this evening after Dolly gets him some food and all that good stuff. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Don't do nothing I would do. Okay? Don't do nothing. And I'll see y'all then. Later.